this one, mate? Yeah, um, both 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 playing well. I think uh, Mark Mark's been playing well, as you saw over in Mandra, and um, I know Ace Ace is always playing well. So yeah, he actually Mark actually said it's the that second uh, the second two thirds of the match against Ron's the best he's ever played and probably ever will again. Yeah, um, that I did I did miss that. I went I went back and um, got ready and and missed it. Came back he was potting the black. And said he's uh, he'll never play that good in his life again. Yeah. They uh, play a pretty similar style of game these two. Very very rare to see him play a loose shot, and uh, should be a good match. And we're away. It's not a bad split. Do you have a prediction here, mate? I'd... Um. Like reds? No, I mean overall in the match. <laughs> uh, prediction as in who's going to win? Correct. Put me on the spot here. I think, I think due what, in form, I would say Mark, possibly 11-7, 11-8, but Mark's only beaten Ace once in six or seven, seven goes, so it, it's basically even money this. Yeah, look, I'd, I'd have to say Mark on current form, he's, uh, he's hitting the ball really well. But if Ace, if Ace was going to win, I would probably say 11-9. Yeah, I'll go 11, yeah, well, I'd to say the same as you, but I'll go 11-8, Robbo. Just hope for a close one. First opportunity here. For ace on reds, have to nail in a, a long red. Just the one good shot, mate, and they're all there. That's an interesting shot from Mark. I'm sure he wanted to get in behind that yellow. But if, he can, yep. if he can knock this long red up the corner, he's, uh, they're all there. First, uh, a tough first shot. There's still a bit of work to do for Mark here. Yeah, first frame's always uh, always meant to be a bit of a doozy. So you definitely think about doing that again, going to uh, Mandra for the money match, mate, um, or, or somewhere else? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to travel somewhere else and, and have have another game. It's enjoyable. Obviously, when you win, it's enjoyable. But um, win or lose, it's uh, so it's always a good learning experience. Yep. Um, Rocky did say he was uh, interested in coming down in the next six months and and doing it again. So I said, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll work something out when the time comes. Uh, very good. Ooh, oh, he's, hit, quite quick. he's hit that beautifully and it's just uh, not travelled. Uh, heads up to the viewers on the 28th of December around the lunchtime area is the Ashes at Potters. Aussies versus the Poms. Is it slash Cubal TV fundraiser too? It, it, it is definitely uh, to, to raise a few yeah. dollars for, uh, for Dan. Just as a Christmas present. And uh, we started it last year, and it was an absolute ripper day. So I'm hoping, you, hoping to see you there, Michael. Yeah, I'll be getting down. You get be getting down. Will you be in the team? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> if you, if you hope, hopefully he's pretty good, mate, because you're sitting next to the captain. Oh, okay. And I'm more than happy to have you. So. Yeah. Well, I'm more than happy to buy you a coffee to get in the team then. <laughs> <laughs> so Ace uh, blocked the yellow off very quickly there. Yeah. And I think you'll see that a lot in this match with him. Very calculated player, like Mark. I reckon he could jam that red out, but he's got to be careful what he leaves. So how do you uh, work yourself back in the frame here, Pete? 
Well, you've got to do something with this pocket, and you you pretty much got to do it now. You've got no, nothing else to really take on to, to get yeah. better position. You've just got to jam this red out. It should should just double draw out. You just roll up to it like that and just try and open it up oh, a bit? Or? He's, uh, he's obviously meant that. Yeah, you, you had to play it harder. You had to get the yellow out. It didn't have to be still sitting over the hole. You just had to get it in a direct line with those two reds and make sure they couldn't go in. So, and it was it was probably even better having him for having it a bit further out, because then you can't sneak in in behind it or squeeze in off it. Yeah. Well, I think I would say that's a, a good shot there. Basically, tell an ace, you know, here's your chance if you, if you don't do it. And this out isn't isn't easy either. No. It's still it's still a tough out. And um, these rails and these pockets, even that red at the top right, may look may look easy, but you have to be accurate on the table, otherwise uh, they will spit out, and you will see them spit out. Balls that you think or think that are going in, they will spit out. Yeah, they're, they're funny actually. When you you hit them right, and they seem to go in really easily, but uh, tiny tiny bit off, and they're coming back at you. So you can take control of the pocket back again here. That was sort of a shot to nothing from yeah. from Alec there. If it goes in, he can go game. Back up plan, recover the hole. Well, Mark basically pushed uh, pushed Ace into um, trying to win the frame very quickly, and if it did, if it went wrong. Oh. And that's what we're talking about, how balls can... Can spit. Can, yeah, that's right, yeah. He could have room down the side to just jam the red out. But the balls are looking more and more open, so... You want to be absolutely sure. It looks like it's fairly new cloth, too. It is pretty pretty good, actually, yeah. The, the nap is still really sharp on it, so... Yeah. So just deciding now whether he wants to try and push this yellow past that red. Not sure whether it will jaw or whether it will uh, pass, but it's a bit hard. Some tables you can play shots like playing the yellow in in through that red, and some tables it will go in quite nicely. Some tables will spit out. Yeah, the, the pace has got a lot to do with it too. You sort of play it soft, soft to medium, try and yeah, you need push in first, quarter yeah. ball. You want to hit it as firm as you can without making the yellow sort of jump off the red. You want it to still be running through the red That's ball. That's right, yeah. It's a bit of a tricky shot. All right. Well, sort of tie him up a bit there. Only, only because if, if Mark tried to obviously try and get the yellow past the red and it failed. Aces balls are all on, so Mark opted for basically covering yeah. that pocket. He's doing that and trying to make Ace win the frame now. In you know, in another ten visits from now. Yeah, he's played the percentages yeah. and he's left the yellow far enough away from the red that you can still get it out. Now, if anyone out there that wants to learn more about tactics and about the game itself. This is probably probably the uh, ideal match to be watching. Absolutely, Alex the master. Intimidating guy to play. He's done everything. Done everything four times, and more. <laughs> Apparently, this keyboard doesn't work that we're uh, using as well. Yeah, the keyboard's having a bad day. <laughs> So if we type the scores in wrong, we can't fix them. So we're just going to put all of that on Dan. So if anything goes wrong, we know it was Dan's fault. No, well, he's having a go. Red on a yellow. Yeah, you've either got to play it pretty much dead weight onto our right hand side of the yellow or you've got to punch it hard off the other side. I'd probably come off the rail and into the yellow like that. That way... Yeah, he's played it perfect. That way you're moving the yellow out of there. Yeah. And if it goes wrong, well... 
you, you should still have a pocket. So basically what Mark did before was make Ace play one good shot. And that's what he's done, he's played a good shot, and he's won the frame from there, that's fine. But before if Mark took that ball down the rail... Oh, I'll tell you wow. what, a little bit thicker on the black he was in strife. That's it. So but if Mark took the ball down the rail and it failed, Ace rolls all his balls in and wins. By by putting that yellow over the ball, uh, over the red there, made Ace just play one, made um, Ace, you know, ma made him play a hard shot. Or a shot that can go wrong. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, you keep doing that, eventually, eventually, you know, shots like that will go wrong. But just make your opponent play, uh, you know, the occasional hard shot here and there to beat you. Uh, good start. Nice, confident black. It's a uh, good start from Alec. Yeah, it was strange. It was a very good looking break, but uh, landed in a bit of an awkward position at the start of it, Robbo. So I was forced to play the play the percentage, uh, the little safety shot up the end. Didn't quite get it tucked in behind the yellow, so lost control. All right, we're on it so far with the scores. No mistakes yet. Yeah, I've got, it, I've got it worked out. <laughs> Just uh, <laughs> ask Dan. Yeah, we've, we've got it all sorted out until it goes wrong. Ace with his nine nine ball cue to break, as always. Not a bad break. Got most of them in. So Red Bull's here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the, that plant's not on with the two yellows that are together, so... Maybe play the um, the one near the black now, down the c corner pocket. You probably have to stun it. If you, if you play it natural, you might be kicking the red towards the yellows, but... I wasn't even sure he was on this one. Oh, that makes a big difference. Plenty of room. Yep. Well, I assume that that red that's passes. near the three passes to the, to the center. Yep. yep. Oh, he's play up into this red at the moment. Oh, he's... He hasn't hit that well. And might pass into this corner, yep. mate. Doesn't look like it on the screen, but is always deceiving. I'm not sure if he's got a lot of angle, he might have to screw up past two rails and come back down. But oh, he's tried to. Uh, he's tried to hold. He's tried to pinch and hold. Yeah. yeah. Maybe seen the rush that a little bit too. I think. Could have. Whatever it was didn't work. Mark will just play this one in the middle. Slide down past the black. Yeah, with the, with the yellow at the bottom of the table, if he wanted to, if he landed on that with angle, he could put it over the pocket and drift the white up and sit underneath that red mm. and give Ace nothing. Or if he wanted to, he can actually pot out here. I'm not sure if they, the, the two yellows are the stuff together. If the top one goes in the centre, then you might see him go the out. If not, then um, you might see him lay the bottom ball up over the pocket and maybe try and drift the white up and sit on top of that red to give Ace nothing. So oh, he's a little bit straight. He's got a bit angle. He could just drop it, yeah. drop it over the hole if he likes. Yeah. So he certainly looks like he wants to have a go at him. Yeah, he's got a good angle too to get out there. I mean, if you wanted to, you can you can play it play it thin and bring the white on the bottom cushion and just sit behind the red, but. Just over hit that a touch, but he should be able to just run through. Can he or can he not? If you can just run through onto the one. You only want to just get past, then you play the one down the cushion and come back out for the other yellow in the middle. Yeah. So he could be running into the yellow. That's the, the one that he's potting, the one just underneath it, he could be running into that and pushing that to the cushion a bit. That's why he's a mm. bit annoyed. So he, he may have to screw back. 
and play the other one next, the one under it yeah. in the middle straight afterwards. Yeah, yeah it looks yeah. like what he has to do. Best to overscrew this and underdo it. So he, he did run into that yellow, as you saw. Yeah, and, he's, he and, he's, and he's underdone it. So you think he might screw into this now? He might have to. He might have. And well, no, not really. He he may play it with. Uh, he may play it with running side and use the two reds to hold the white. Yep. But he's got to he's got to either do that or play into it to hold the white. That's he's got to do one or the other. I think maybe take the one down the rail and then. Yeah. And use this red to hold, or it just goes straight. No. no. Yeah. See, I'd. He he tried to miss that. I, I yeah, I'm sure he tried to miss yeah. that because he, he overcut it. He must have because the it was never anyway near never the coming pace back. to get yeah, across. Right. Yeah. So yeah, these pockets aren't tight. They're actually buckets. Well, <laughs> he's he's done a butters and snooked himself on his last ball. So then you explain to me how he's going to pot this yellow. Well. No. <laughs> I've got nothing, mate. You've got to swerve it and cut it in. Or, oh, he might have... What's he doing? Kill on the black. I think it cuts in. Or not. It's not bad, but he's killed his own ball doing that as well. I think that'll be game, Michael. I don't know just yet. Well, I'm just picturing this red sitting over the hole and then having one shot. Yeah. You'd be pretty the, the confident. The black is still slightly tricky to get on, but... Yeah, but if you're playing one of those balls in the middle last... Yeah. And if this red goes in, then it's, uh, I'd say it's definitely over. Right, now he's overcut one or two like this, so... I'm actually happy to have more hair than ace. And he's overcut it again. <laughs> So do you think maybe he could play the top red, those two that next to, next to each other, play the right one up in the corner and stun across and just nudge Mark's yellow to the cushion? Yeah, I don't reckon he'd want... I don't think he'd want the yellow near the cushion. Where it is now, as long as he leaves him high on it, it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. If he nudges it to the cushion, he can pot it. Just lay up. But it's harder to pot when it's sitting on the cushion. Yeah, that's true. He's going to stun into the corner here. That's a terrible miss. Yeah, no, he <laughs> never looked like going in. <laughs> and and lucky with the white. Yes, we are definitely on live. Alright, so fair issues for Mark here. There's no safety anywhere. So you come off one cushion or two, or Mate. I don't think you can sort of screw past the black and then... No, the double might be on, off one cushion. I think he's trying to sit behind the... Is he trying to sit behind the yellow? Looks good. Yeah, it's, it's always going to be very tough, tough shot to get this. the pace right. Yeah, yeah You really have to just miss the yellow. Very tricky angle for that shot. Do you think maybe to play it a lot harder and I'd just sort of smack into the yellow and, and try and push maybe one of the reds dead that's, that's and what get I'd, a result? That's what I'd do. You're probably... Is he going to run through this or...? I was going to say you could uh, you could screw back into the yellow here and straight running to the red. Yeah. Make sure make uh, more room for the black. But yeah, even the, 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 I think the problem there was even if you got the snooker, he can come off one rail and hit the yellow and still and leave hit the you red in trouble. And still, well, it's still a tough pot for you. Yeah. 
So maybe hitting it a bit harder, trying to smack into the yellow and and make something happen. Hope for a result. Well, I don't know whether you're going to pot the yellow, but you might kill one of his reds or, or get your yellow into play maybe. Uh, he's, he's come wide here, so he's got to check this up. Sh shouldn't be an issue. It's just getting the pace right, which is fine. Yeah, it's still a little bit of work to get on the black yeah, Michael. that's right. That, that's... Probably just want to stun out a bit, or he might come off two rails. He'll probably screw around off yeah. two rails. Where's his Q there is... I've, I've mentioned this before to to the people out there uh, who are not a high level player. The way Alex playing this shot, if he plays it off the two rails, which it doesn't look like he is doing. I thought, I think he might. Yeah. It's just. Uh, no. Oh, I wouldn't have played it like that. See now, the issue with going that way is you've got to land on a dime to be right. to be on the black. You take it off the two rails around the diagonal, and you're on the line from the black. It's all That's up right. to just how close you get to it. So the name played at the top of the table there. If you just hit to the right side of that with so with a bit of right hand side and come off two rails, even if you land short, you're always on the black and you have a chance. With the way Ace played it, if you land short, you're in trouble. But going the other way, if you don't land, if you land short, you've, you're on it all the time. You've still got a shot. So I was a bit surprised he did it that way. It's hard to hard to tell how much I'm. He can hit some of this. I'm assuming. So this is Looking where at the face cut double. Yeah, this is where Mark uh, fouled and put the black there. Has uh, possibly come to save him now. It's going to be very close to a double kiss on this too. So what, play with a bit of right hand side then? Well, I think there's a bigger gap between the black and the bottom cushion than there is the side cushion. So you'd almost want to play with left hand side left to check the side. white back up underneath it. Okay. If you play with right, you're widening the angle of the white's more likely to, to yeah. catch it. But also makes it a lot tougher shot. That's unlucky, that was a very good attempt. And that, that's pretty much all he was trying to go for anyway, obviously yeah. not the enough. Even if it's sat there, Mark, not, Mark's got a face cut himself. Not tough for Mark here, but still tricky. We've seen these go wrong plenty of times. I've seen these go wrong plenty of times when I'm playing them. <laughs> which way do you go with this, Michael? Um, I, think, I think what Mark's going to do, which He's going to basically put this yellow off the bottom rail into the centre of the table and maybe screw off the yellow and sort of stun to the cushion and come back out a bit to about where the yellow is now, but a bit higher. Yeah, OK. So he gives himself an option of three he pockets. Looks like he's cutting it. Well, he might be doing that. No. Uh, just come out fine. a little bit. He's played it well. Yeah, that's, that, that's fine also. you just you just got to hit it hard enough. Yeah, I, I don't have the touch to do that. I'd be doubling it up and down all day long. So, one all. Yeah. Scratchy, scratchy first couple of frames. Little bit of tension in both the arms. Not looking, uh, not looking smooth. Not looking comfortable over the balls yet. But it won't take long. That was very nice of Trent Reinheimer. He's going to go and have a cigarette for me. It's a good bloke. All right. So I want to go and tell that girl to stop swinging her legs 300 miles an hour. She's inside. Oh, she's trying I think, to kick Mark. I think, <laughs> I think someone told her it was a pool, so she's trying to swim. <laughs> oh, how's this break? Oh, that last yellow. Maybe go yellows and, um... Oh, no, you, you've actually got a pot of yellow. <laughs> he's, I, I was that's say, stiff, because that's two good breaks and he's just landed awkward. And this was what was happening up in uh, WA. He was uh, breaking really nice, but just 
not, you know, you know when the balls really aren't all there. It's just and, not happening. Yeah. I was going to say, if a yellow dropped here, you could play the um, the back double on the yellow that's uh, near the near the centre pocket. Yeah. And open up the yellow on the black. But he needs to he needs to pot a yellow. Well, this might be on. Big shot. Huge shot. Even better if you can slide through the gap and open those two up. Yeah, he just wants to sort of glance off the black. Actually, I don't even think he get. Yeah. Yeah, he's missed, the pop. he's missed the ball and he's opened them all up. He, he, he's hit the black perfect. He's hit everything perfect except he's missed the pot. So he just wanted to glance off the black there and open up the, both, both red, uh, both yellows. And he's got the black out, which is all, all perfect. The he's only, missed the pot. The only saving grace he may have is pushing the uh, yellow to the, just past the middle pocket. Puts it in a tough position, but Ace is likely just to double that. Yeah, Ace is very good at doubles. Yes, he is. And it has his system and it works well. So, with with the system that he uses, how does it work on a table that slides and... I mean, all tables run differently, so... Do you obviously try and figure out the table beforehand and then do the system and then adjust Look, to as, how he... As, as far as all the slide and everything goes... Yeah. That generally won't happen if a ball's naturally rolling. It's when it's when the ball's actually skidding. Yep. That's when it's more likely to, to straighten up or skid or, or, or slide off a rail, you know, spread, whatever you want to call it. But you, you generally know, you know, you roll one ball at a cushion and you know how they're playing, so... Go into the reds here, and open up the black, yep. Yeah. Just played that really well. Play the little plant. So I'm not sure if that one in the top right centre, uh, if he can just roll it in and land on the black. So he'll play the bottom two here, cut the table. And the one that he's looking at now... It's about sure. a foot past the pocket. But it's also two inches off, so it, look, it'll be potable. He may play these two now, then play the middle one, then the double, land on his last ball. Yeah. And he's just got to come back up middle of the table for the black. Could even try coming up now, and he might sit this yellow, and if it, stay, and if it goes, it goes. So he's done that. I'm not, yeah, I'm not a... Yeah, I mean, he's, cut, he's recovered the hole perfectly there. That's a beautiful shot. It was a free chance to get up there. And in the same time, he, he, you know, that yellow, like I said, was either going to fall in or cover the cover the hole. Yeah, if you hit it that well. But he's now out of position. Yeah, he may have to cut this one in the middle, come back out, then play the double. You can definitely cut this. Just off two and back out towards the bulk line. If he catches it, fine. Yeah. Extraction. Yep. The thing is, he can play a soft extraction. Yeah, just just a nudge. Cush, and cushion even first. And even if he's not on it, he might be able to pop the one down the bottom for a backup. You just need a little cushion first nudge. And as you said, you only have to. Even if you move it an inch and a half. I will, I'm, not, I'm not going cushion first here, Pete. I think I think I'm sort of trying to go into the yellow quarter yeah. ball first. Only because if you go cushion first, you're pushing it uh, nowhere. You're pushing it down to towards the black. So he's, well, he's, he's just landing land on, on it. it. Yep. So if this if this ball goes like this, I wouldn't have played the way he did before when he when he tried to come up the table. I would have made sure I both, two. that's right, would have played the bottom two first and then come up the table. Yeah, no doubt. So what, do, what is he doing with this? Is he cutting this down? It looks like it, but I'm sure he's not. He's just sort of dragging this in. Or he's yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Oh look, I mean it's not the way we thought he was gonna go, but I can't see him losing the frame in a hurry. Balls, well, balls situated how they are. He 
might not lose it in a hurry, but he might lose it in about 10 minutes. <laughs> it won't be in the next couple of minutes, that's for sure. So Mark requires now a good safety to well, uh, keep himself just, just in the frame. Well, he might play red onto the black, push the black across to his red on the bottom cushion. Red, other red pots that or sits in front of the, this yellow on the left hand side. Try and do about three things at once. Quite often when you do that, none of them work. Might even try and get a snooker here. With it, with it. Yeah, he has. With that red, and, that's a good shot. shot. With that red on the the back cushion, the bottom cushion. If you play up and down, you've got to hit it because you can't just roll up and touch it. If it drops in, you're still snooker. So do you think Ace Ace is going to try obviously get out of the snooker, or will he just try and leave, give Mark two shots? Yeah. It, Maybe push a red. A, yeah, I don't know. What, I don't. I don't see any value really in, in getting out of the snooker. I think Russell. even the, the the top, the red in the middle, the highest red in the middle of the table, maybe even just push that to the cushion, run the white up the other end. What about pushing the white ball straight towards the black here, leaving the, leaving uh, Mark only the red that he's sitting on top of. Maybe even for a double, but it's going to go into the ace's yellow anyway. Yeah, but that's, that's, he's done what I said, yeah. and I just I can't see anything Mark can really do from this position. Well, he can pot out. If he, if, he, if he can clear the bottom right and the bottom one at the same time. Which yeah, I mean, I know, a I know. Shot. he's a great <laughs> player, but yeah, good luck with that. I don't reckon he'd be standing there at the moment going, yeah, I could pot out from here. So maybe just use your two and try and get some coverage. If you if can, if can put a red over one of these yellows, yeah, and then, then uh, we'll tie the is black in up. trouble. Yeah. It's basically going to be a black ball game. Is he trying to jam this yellow out? Yeah, it's good oh. effort, but it's pretty much in the same spot it already was. And he's been, a, in a way, a bit stiff not to land on a red. Um, he might be able to half ball off the, the red on the black and push the black down towards those two reds. In, in between them both? Um, no, I'd, I'd actually have it sort of towards the middle of the table. If you okay. try and go in between, you could leave it on. So try, try and overcut it and try and sit it um, on the bottom rail, sort of in the middle of the table. Yep. And that way if it bounces up, you've got about 12 inches to play with. You've got basically a foot to play with before yep. it can go in. Yep. Right inside the pocket. And it'd be nice to have 12 inches to play with, Michael. Yeah, I know. I just hate being an inch off. <laughs> uh, an inch off, mate. You're a lucky man. I'm, I'm, I'm an inch off half a foot, buddy. <laughs> uh, we won't say which way and we'll keep everyone <laughs> <Yeah>. guessing. <laughs> And don't go, to, don't go to Mark for answers either. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, that's dead. Yeah. It's looking pretty shiny out there, Ace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's hit that nicely. So I didn't actually see what Mark did. I think he's just tried, tried to, to nudge cover it, the cover the black up a yeah. bit. Yeah. Just a delicate shot here. It's just a thin nick. Yeah, make sure you catch it thin. And try and overdo it, then underdo it. Yeah. Or you could just do it perfectly. Just do it perfect. I would have tried to play that maybe with a touch of side. And, and the red that's near his hand, just try and come up near that so you can. Yeah. So you've got room for error. I would have done the same thing, and it's funny because you. Yeah, the guy who's done it all, you watch him and he just does it as simply as you can yeah. possibly do it. Probably one thing I struggle with is touch. 
<laughs> and again, no jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate, and you have absolutely got me covered when it comes to uh, to your touch. <laughs> this is, I'm just going to stop talking for a minute. Yeah. Can we change the subject? Talk about something other than touch. What's in your coke? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so two one Alex. And they've been uh, not straightforward frames so far. But it's been good to watch. It has been interesting. Great split. How yeah, good's the cue ball? He's hit him plumb and then we got nothing and left, left Mark a very good up. This is a better opportunity than Mark's out of either of his breaks. Yeah, I, I, uh, I basically, I'm calling it now, he's a dollar four to pot out he's here. He's out. Yeah, this is out. And that and that yellow in the middle of the table on the left is uh, that's going to go under the red. This will will be his last That'll ball. That'll be last. Yeah, for the black. So we'll play these two in the centre and I'm, drift down. I'm saying the black ball will be last, but that's all right. <laughs> I ain't racist, mate. <laughs> Yeah, he, he's pretty right here, mate. There's not a lot can go can go wrong, really. So, so take this, then the one inside in the black pocket. Oh no, it looks like he's just screwing back he, to the, uh, the play, one on the. He might play it off the red to hold the white. No, he's come down this way. I, yep. I don't like that. I would have, yeah, I would have preferred to be playing the one. The one above where he is now. Sorry, the one, the one that's uh, up next to the black. Still got no dramas. So now he wants to sort of stun up towards the middle of the table. Yeah, just land on the black spot, break spot. Now the the ball that he's on now, well, the one cool. that he. The one that he took in the centre and drifted down to the bottom end of the table, I thought it maybe if he had angle, he could land on uh, land on this one. Yeah, that's what I then, thought. Yep, that's the way and then I play this gone. one and then play the bottom two. Yeah. But maybe he didn't have enough angle or had too much angle. Sorry. Yeah, it doesn't. Either way, he's had absolutely no dramas with the out, and you were correct. Now he will he will possibly take this off the red just a little bit, like that. And I was correct. I said he'd take the black last. Well, I called the yellow. You did. That he was going to take last. <laughs> We're on fire. Yeah, good solid out from Robbo there. Um, look, nothing too special. He won't be. He'll be. He'll be happy that he got a nice, easy frame. But yeah, you'd expect uh, either of them to get that without any issues. Two two. Two two. Robbo to break. Can he have one successful one? Uh, if anyone out there would like a small wager on this, um, feel free to message me. I'm happy to take either player, just for a bit of fun. There's a Brunswick Gold Crown 4 behind him there, mate. I believe that table's from Paulo. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's got something to do with yourself? No, no not me, no. mate. No, I just... I know they're getting rid of a few. What's he... Did he just, like... Do a little angry slap. Oh, a cu couple of viewers just came down. Chappy, Chappy and Bart. Come to watch the uh, the great man and Robbo. Or they're here for the poker, I'm not sure. Yeah, well, you know, we'll <laughs> go with Paul. Mark's dressed in uh, in his uniform gear. Yeah, stand. His, his money match uniform gear, yes. socks, tracky pants, and a and a t-shirt. I know, and this is a bloke who gives me grief for wearing thongs to everything. At least I have footwear. I think you might need to go with uh, some socks and tracky gear to S get some results. Mate, he's your best mate. Seriously, tell me how long 
is he going to play this sore foot card? Because I reckon it's been three years. He's had a sore foot for three years. <laughs> is he not the softest bloke of all time? Must, be my, must be my foot rubs are bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm definitely going to go for a smoke, I think. <laughs> Getting uncomfortable around here. He wasn't real happy with the break then. So he didn't smash everywhere, but he's still got a great opportunity on reds here, so... Does that red pass the uh, yellow in the bottom right? I assume it does. Where are you looking? Oh, yeah, easily. I'd point, but no one can see other than you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I was commentating up in WA, and the person next to me that was doing it with me was um, saying, he should take this red, he should take that red. But he was <laughs> pointing at the screen, and I said, well, no one can see uh, no that. Viewers can't buddy. That. Yeah. table seems to pull up a little bit quick still still running nice though I had a look at it before and uh, you have to be accurate down the rails for them to go in very if you play good the table will re uh, reward you uh, if you if you play bad this table will uh, punish you as well so. uh, me me bro Scotty and I were watching Alex have a practice before and he's we've walked over and we've seen him smash one down the rail clean as a whistle I go not bad uh, I, I said I thought these were tight mate and he said that's the first one that's going in <laughs> was it his first shot? No. <laughs> and he didn't get another one either. So yeah, they are tight. I, I, I saw Scotty put something on, uh, your brother put something on Facebook about um, something about double the butters and uh, was it? What, what was the quote? With the uh, <laughs> That's right. It was double double the butters, twice the work. <laughs> uh, he's a comedian. Well, he's he's playing in the Ashes side with us, mate. Yeah, I saw that. It's good. He got a Guernsey. It's his uh, birthday that day too. Is that why he got it? He's turning turning thirty one. <laughs> Well, you know, it's, uh, I didn't have to put him in the side dog. He could have just come and hung out with us for the day. But Saved you buying him a present. Well, yeah. Oh, I wish that was the case. <laughs> would, have, would have saved me heaps of cash. No. No, he's, he's a pretty solid player, as you know, mate. Yeah. Play doubles with him in JDs. <laughs> I just remember that. <laughs> See if you can put the white ball about here, mate. Yeah, I believe right. he put it right, right on the mark. If I knew he was going to put it there, I would have adjusted to where I really wanted it. <laughs> That was a good day. All right. It's funny little angle here. You just roll this in. It's just an easy roll in, laying on the black. Oh, he's Overdone overcut it. that. Just tried to steer it a little bit. I think maybe that was nap or just a missed pot. If it was nap, it'd go the other way, mate. That's why I'm asking you. Yep. And, uh... <laughs> I don't think I'll have any more to drink then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think about it, mate. You you play the blue. Oh, sorry, the the pinks <laughs> off. You play pinks off the spot, and they yeah. nap, they nap in. I know. I I. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, mate. You just pop balls. Oh. Jeez. That wiped its feet. Maybe you played it that way so he can kill the black. Well, he did. He killed it to the middle. <laughs> so you think uh, he's gonna he's gonna be playing safe here? He's if he's he, he look, if he plays safe, he, he needs to play a good one because there's no point in playing one where it's just a one cushion escape. And and where that red is, you've got a massive area to hit to get out of a snooker. Well, if he leaves the white on the bottom of the rail here, where that where the yellow is aiming for now, if he leaves the white directly underneath it on the rail. Um, it's it's quite a dodgy. Yeah, it's that's quite dodgy to actually hit the red. He's gonna have to good. come off the side rail with a lot of left hand side, or he's gonna have to swerve. And he has been playing swerve shots and practicing them at home <laughs> on a table that you might have to recloth. He ain't going that way. 
No. But Oh look he might, but it's that's more than a full ball, so think, that's a long way out. You've got to get the white. Yeah, I think the where, where he's looking at now, um, he might be taking it that way with side, left-hand side, a lot of left-hand side, and just try and hit the red. If it goes in, it goes in. I reckon he might have to swerve off the back cushion. Swerve off the back cushion and up the left-hand side of the table. He could play it off the bottom rail and then off where he was looking at then, off two rails and then towards the top left. But yeah, that yellow comes into play as well, I think. Where he's aiming, he's going to have to have a, a lot of left-hand side to Certainly get up there. does. Nah, nowhere near it. Yeah, I, I honestly think the swerve off the back cushion was a shot. It was a hard shot. Tough shot, but it, but I reckon that was the best. I've seen you play it once against me, and uh, you, you nailed it. But I'm happy for my opponents to be playing them those kind of shots. <laughs> and I'm more than happy to be playing a Mick. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you're probably the last person I want I want to be playing it. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually happy when you're on straight black. Yeah, that's what you, you want me to have three simple roll-ins left. Yeah. Because yeah. then I know I'm getting back to the table. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's not a bad shot from Ace. It does look like he knows what he's doing out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's... Well, he, he couldn't be far behind Sonny Lister for state sides, could he? 44. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's 30 or whatever. 20, uh, 27, I think, Sunny. 25 Australian sides. And then wasn't allowed to play in his own state this year because he wanted a week off. Yeah, I, I don't even want to discuss that. Sure. Oh, look at this. Wow. And that's another frame given a mark. Jeez, that's that's and a tough one. He might be really able to that, that, yeah. in off with two shots. He was trying the viewers out there, he was actually trying to open up the yellow on the black there. Which was probably unnecessary. Unless he was trying to come underneath and try and open up the other yellow that's on the cushion, but... Yeah, I, well, I still, I really hate arguing with anything Ace does, because he very rarely makes a bad decision. I might just uh, ask his wife. See what, see what Lenny reckons? He said she beat him yesterday too. <laughs> that didn't yeah. help his confidence much. Yeah, it wasn't on the table. <laughs> so three, no, it certainly was. 3-2 to Mark. All right. I'll be, I'll be back in just a minute. I was going to say Dan should get on just so they know he exists. <laughs> I'll get Scotty on for uh, Pete's brother for a bit. How are you, Scotty? Michael, yourself? Yeah, right. What are they doing having a break? Uh, there's a wee break, I think. <laughs> yeah, Mark's gone to, uh, Mark's gone to the batter and basically let Ace uh, sit there and uh, Stu over his, uh, is in off with two shots there. Yeah. You're just fixing me mic up. Yeah, that was um, pretty uncharacteristic, wasn't it? Yeah, but, you know, everyone makes mistakes, no matter how good you are. Absolutely, and it's actually good to see for uh, a player, uh, an intermediate sort of player like I am, it's good to see. You know, it's, it just goes to show you have to show concentration 100% uh, of the time, don't you? That's right. And this can hurt him. He's made him a, he's basically made two frame losing mistakes, mm. and it's cost him obviously two frames. And now he's dry broke with a chance that Mark can run this rack two and go four two up. Absolutely, that'd be a big kick in the pants for him. But a player like Alec um, will not worry about that and get over it very quickly and and get on with business. Absolutely, That's something that you need to do after making a, a silly mistake. It's almost like you um, you knuckle down, you try ten times harder the next frame, don't you? 
Unless they pot out on you. <laughs> well, yeah, it's out yeah, of your hands, yeah. But um, yellows, you reckon? Uh, I think definitely yellows. Isn't it? Um, I'd probably, I don't know, I might go reds if he's on a red, but either way, you can go yellow or reds depending on, on how you like to plan the out. Um, Mark's chosen yellows here. Mm. Bit of dissecting to do, but um, there's no one better at it uh, when he's on his game, is there? So it's got to be careful that first one. Mm. It's fine. Well, you split that yellow near the red up, up now. If he wants. So yellow near the red on the right hand side, I was saying. Yeah, um. Just give it a little nudge. He's just looking at it. Yeah, he might be able to push the yellow down a little bit. Mm. Doesn't want to hit it too thick because he'll push it on the red. Yeah, that's good. And he's played that perfect. No, and that's exactly what he meant. If there is a perfect shot, that'd be close to it. <laughs> Where's he going next, Michael? Thinking. <laughs> so was I. <laughs> <laughs> It does look, I mean, when you commentate, it does look different from here. And it's hard to see some of the shots and some of the angles. And um, that's why you do get it, you know, you do actually get it wrong from here a lot of the times because you, you don't know if balls are on and... He's actually got into that a fair bit. Mm. He may have wanted to come back into that black, so yeah. the, the yellow that's near the black he can pot in the corner. So he might have the angle now to pot the uh, yellow in the centre and screw back into the black, or he can cut the yellow in that he's on now that he just looked at. Mm. He, can take, he can take the yellow down the bottom right if he wanted to and sort of drift up and try and nudge into the black. That's, that's the first initial thought, but, um, but if, he's yeah. not. He might, he might try and come back into the black here, or stun down the table. Angle, yeah. yeah. That, that's, that, that's fine, he'll now come across for the black. Mm. And he just wants to nudge into it. Sit, sit nicely on it, fat, that'd be perfect. Yeah. You don't want to hit this hard, you just want to roll into the black. He's got that one over the right for, for a bit of comfort, so that's... Yeah. But if he misses the black, he could uh, he could be in trouble because getting on this yellow again could be could be hard. Mm. He just needs to concentrate on the yellow, this yellow now that he's going for, it, and not miss it. Oh, yeah. he's you might need a thin cut here. Yeah, the white's going to be travelling now if he's going to go for that. He's going to lose it a bit here. So he's just seeing where where the white can land. For it. He's got a lot of area up the table that the white can stop in, so he's on he's on the yellow. But if he doesn't like it, he's probably going to have to take the risk and play the uh, bottom right yellow and maybe come up the table. See, if he pots the bottom right yellow and comes up the table, sort of lands in the middle of the table, he's on the yellow anyway. Yeah, about where that red is up the top in the. Yeah, just down from that, pretty much on the blue spot yeah. of, 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 say, a snooker table if he wanted to take that. But he's, he's opted this way. Well, he has got a bit of room. He's got a bit of room. Yeah. He might even be able to just nudge into this red here. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he's oh not that way though. No. Didn't see that happening. <laughs> Kicking himself, I think, there, uh, Michael. Yeah. yeah. He's in a bit of strife now. I think it's too close to it to swerve. <laughs> I feel. And I'd say it again, what would Butters do? <laughs> WWBD. WWBD. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think about that for a second. So yeah, where he's looking now, uh, basically off the top rail and then with the right hand side, mm. drifting down, trying to try nudge his yellow in. Yeah. This is what he did look at. I can't really see another option. Hmm. But even if he even if he does nudge this or hit this, I, I really think he's in he's in a lot of trouble because he's just going to get snookered. He really needs to pot this. So yeah. fair bit of right hand side now. Very hard to judge these shots. Aren't they? Yeah. Mm, good area. 
I don't even know whether he's potted yeah, he's, he's hit he's it, but he hasn't it. potted it. That's it, it's good effort. Very good effort. Good shot, but I don't think it's going to be good enough. No, nah, we... <laughs> but in saying that, Ace needs to play a good shot now to keep himself in the frame. That's right, and he's, um, he has played one or two loose ones. I can count one. But, um, Gonna nudge in the black here. Mm. It should be right. Just need to get the pot. Yeah, that's good. Probably at less angle. Than... Well, they're all there now. Yeah. Um, should be and, ABC. Uh, I'd say that's game over now. Just gonna come up the side rail and head down towards the uh, middle of the table, towards land, the black. Land on about all of them. Pretty much. Shit. Oh, um, wow. That's, um, I think you said it perfectly there, Michael. Wow. I don't think he got a kick. I think he just missed it. I think he's there. Yeah. I'm very surprised at that. See how quick that, that well, you can see how quick that pulled up. Yeah. I mean, Mark hit that quite quite hard or quite thin off that ball, and it did pull up quite quick. Well, I've had my little scrappy. run. Uh, it was. No, but, um, All right. I've had my little run, so I'll throw the professional back on. Over oh, to you, that, Peter Butterworth. In that case, stay here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Scotty. I might have to make a dash soon too. Yeah, thanks, Scotty. I don't know about the professional. Professional <laughs> something. Certainly not commentator. Uh, that's, uh, I just saw that miss from Alec, mate. Well, I didn't even consider that as a miss. I didn't even think about it. I thought it was... Uh, you think he took his eye off it or what? Or yeah, he must have. I don't have think he got a kick, but... No, there was no kick. That was just... Yeah, just a brain fade. something I, I can't remember I've, I reckon I've seen him miss a ball like that once and it just happened to be against me <laughs> factor yes yeah, cert <laughs> certainly <laughs> not factor mate <laughs> I don't think there's many people on earth that have got a uh, factor over Alec that's a big break for Mark but try <laughs> reads of the balls Michael You still take the black last in this frame? Yeah, I reckon. Just to mix it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still yet to see on the break seven reds or seven yellows go in. I've seen five. I haven't seen seven yet. I've seen five, mate. And then I then I did ask the question: If you pot say seven reds off the break, do you nominate the black or do you nominate red balls? Well, I showed you my break the other day, and this is 25 years I've been playing pool, and God knows how many frames, and I got five of one colour for the first time ever. Yeah. And, I'll be, and did he go the other colours? No, because I no, no I was stuff. fat on the other two. <laughs> okay. So I did a, a four shot out. Nice. No swerves, no nothing, just no, roll in. Straight forward, mate. It all went all went to plan. That must have been weird. Well, it was only three shots to play, mate, so you know. That needs to bounce and it hasn't. And it hasn't, no. And he's in a he's in a bit of strife here, Ellie. He's not, not looking comfortable. And they're missing that ball before. Yeah, a few yeah. uncharacteristic out. Uh, he's not pieces. he's not impervious to stuff messing with his head, he's still human, so he's gonna have to shake that off. Yeah, if, if anything, it possibly could be 4-2 uh, the other way. Yeah. He has handed Mark a few frames. A bit more of a spring in Mark's step now, too, after that last frame, so... Stop touching me, please, mate. Sorry. It's my smooth arms. 
I keep sliding on the table. No, no worries, laser treatment. <laughs> Got a model for something in your life, and this, this is true. Yeah. You can be a guinea pig. Right. I gave up professional modeling to be a uh, a laser treatment model. That'll come out all right. Yeah, probably. Uh, well, he's got a. He needs to clear both these corner pockets. So. Is he straight enough? Uh, I mean, sorry, is he got enough angle to run across the other side, or does he play the one on the right-hand side of the table, mate? After this ball. Well, it's, it's actually really hard to. Oh, look at this! That's a um, strange choice, I thought. It's really hard to. Yeah, it's really hard to see on on, on the camera here whether he does have enough angle or not to come out like you said but yeah he did opt to come he did opt to play it down the stand and try and get it under that red Ellie's going to be hard to beat in this frame now because that's he knows he uh, he was in a lot of trouble there and if he can turn this frame around that'll give him a lot of confidence yeah I see this frame I see this frame going quite a while yeah it can do and He's just trying three to people. work out how to get this pocket, the left-hand pocket. And I think three people behind uh, in, in, the, in the camera view there, I think they saw a spider run under the table. Really? Yeah. And they're just looking for it. There's a few glasses on that table too, by the way. Yeah, they I think a few I think of Alex's. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's he going to do with this left-hand uh, bottom pocket, Michael? Mate, if you saw the last match I played, you wouldn't be asking me these questions. <laughs> oh, Michael, if you've seen any match I've ever played, <laughs> you know why I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you reckon? Play the plant, uh, the cannon now? The plant I and the cannon? That, I think all these reds go. Yeah, but you've got to get the one in the hole. You might run across and knock it in now. No. Oh, wow. oh, that's trouble. Obviously, he opened that because the red didn't go, but it looked like from here it did go. Yeah, that's a bit that's a bit stiff out of the finish, though. He's left, him bugger, left himself bugger all of a shot as well. I don't know. I assume the red that he knocked, the, the yellow that he knocked away from the red went anyway, so there was no need to hit that red as hard as he did. He might, uh, but it is ace, and like you said, well, look, if you can hit the one he's no looking at, he's just gonna just gonna sit on it, nudge it, and leave Mark no shot. If he can't see it, he may have to run across the other side. He really needs to do something with his dead ball on the right of the side of the table here, because if he leaves it, Mark can now start taking control of the frame. And I tell you now, this might sound stupid, but I think Yellow's the favourite here. Right at the moment. If I, I had agree. a choice, I'd be. Play, I'd, I'd, if I had a choice, and, and someone said, "Here's a thousand bucks. You got to win the frame from here," I'd be taking yellows. Even if it wasn't your shot. That's right. Yeah. Even if it wasn't my shot, I'd be taking yellows. So this is where Ace now needs to. I think he's going to pot this red. and might even try and open up the other yellow and red two at the same time. And he's done that, and that's a that's a that, that's a good shot. I tell you what, that's that's a really good shot. Unless it's, I hope it's like foul snooker. I don't think it is, because no, he's, he's got the... It can't be a tennis. foul snooker, there was no foul. Oh, because he's on reds, that's right. Yep. <laughs> he, <laughs> that's right. He might be able to play this in the middle and run the wide across and nudge the red over the hole. And it, yeah. Or, or, and even, it, or even just play off the red, put it out in the middle of the table, and run into that red and nudge it over the yeah. hole. Yeah. But if you have a look at the red and the yellow, the red, the yellow is pushing the red away from the pocket. So I still think it's close enough to cover. Okay, I'd, I think he's going to do what you said, but unless he might be taking in the centre. Oh, oh. Geez. he hit that pretty well too. Could you have played that shot with top and played it softer and had the same result? Yeah, that's what I thought. 
for what we're winning. I thought you could, have, yeah. Well, I thought you could roll it in and, and roll across to these, but yeah, that's what, not what he wanted to do. So, no. Mark's in very, very good position now. I think good chance for Mark here to pot out. Now, will he try and get on it now, or will he just yeah. play up for the one above it? Definitely try and get on it now and use the one that's above this yellow as a, as a backup ball. Yeah, he's, he's played that perfect. Did that well. Yeah. The reason why you leave that one on the right-hand side of the table is because it's it, it can be there for an emergency. So there's no point in getting rid of two balls and then trying to land on these two yellows yeah, on the side of the table. It's a good backup ball. Play your first shot, try and land on it. If it goes wrong, as you see, if it, even if you didn't land on it, he he's, can play the... He's in a funny angle on this because he needs to play cushion first. Mm. Probably just screw off it. He needs to belt it too. Oh, I don't think he needs to play that hard because I think the yellow is going to come directly up the table. No, he, he had to hit him hard. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, he's done that and it's worked out worked out nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. Still got that one tricky yellow though. I think he might play that last now. That tricky yellow is his last ball. Yeah, drop it in dead weight. Yep. Take these two in the corner here. Yep. Middle pocket, drop onto the rail and, yeah, and drop that in. So maybe for some uh, SHIT and giggles, I might put on Trent for a frame. Trent, you want to come over and do it, do, do the next frame while I uh, have a bit of a break? <laughs> yeah, we need a fill. We all love to see how you think, mate. We need a fill in. I'll go to I'll go to Guess well, I'm just going to pass you over to Trent. Guest commentator, Trent ladies Reinheimer. and gentlemen. Now, I won't ask Trent how he'd play any ball because he'd just say hard. How you doing, mate? Good, thank you. Yourself? Very well. Nice to have you here. Uh, have you actually been on the commentary before, mate? No, I'm losing my virginity. No, good on you. Yeah, it's a bit tight. I'm, tired, I'm but glad, nice, glad to be the one to break you in. Oh, wouldn't be the first time. Robbo's pretty uh, straightforward here on the yellows. Just run this in, land on the rail, roll it in. Yes, it, look, it looks pretty self-explanatory, but uh, I think I'd be shitting myself with every shot. Due oh, to my, I'll uh, tell you what, he's just knowledge. made it about four times harder. Yeah. And he'll be kicking himself. Yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's what Trent would have done. Butters yeah. would have been on the other side of it. Yeah. No, it's, um... Oh, look, he's, he's pretty good with a rest and a, and a spider. So good, in fact, that he's not going to use it. Might have, might have had a foot missing. I'm surprised he just doesn't just change hands. <laughs> no, it's a tough shot with either hand. You can swap hands, you're still playing over the red, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah, it must have been a foot missing on that one. Like he still he still should get this. Doesn't have to do anything with the white. No. Other than hit it. Big big stage of the match right now though. It's, this is a tough shot. He knows five two is a huge lead. Psychologically, to be 5 yeah. 2 instead of 4 uh, 3, and that's a good shot. Yeah, it's not bad at all. After watching him play on the weekend. Yeah, uh, mate, I actually missed the Ron Kelly match, but as uh, I said earlier, Mark told me that it's the best patch of pool he's ever had, and, yeah. and likely ever to have, so I'll have to get a replay on that. Yeah, it was a uh, great match. So, well, Ron, Ron, had a, Ron started out, out well, but then. Once it got to 5-4, I think it just kicked another. <laughs> well, we just had confirmation. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Ali could be as light-hearted about it at the moment. He's had so many. I mean, he's had a lot of opportunities. No, very very uncharacteristic. He's changing where he's breaking from as well. Which I don't really think he needed to do. The brakes have been going pretty well, but all right, it's it's worked. I'll tell you what, they're not pretty. They're not pretty again, though. No, no, he, he doesn't. He he needs to potter it if he wants to be on them. Yeah, 
Well, yellows are, yellows are the balls, but you've got to get on one. The only problem taking yellows, if you and if you don't pot a ball straight away, you're going to leave him a chance to get up the table and cover the black. So you'll lose control of the black straight away, which... Only option, you've got to this. Yeah, he, he really has to. He, he's only got one other option, and it's not a good one anyway, so he's just as good a chance of potting this. He's hit that pretty well, but not quite good enough to knock it in. So Robo does have an opportunity, and it, it's a pretty good one. He's got a good starter. Yeah, but they got to, it's got to be absolutely spot on. What do you think of Robbo's footwear, mate? take the one in the middle. Oh, it's Pringles in your ears, mate. Yeah. Couldn't smell it. It's it's Mr. Cue Ball TV offering you Pringles. Don't be alarmed. Play that well. You probably want to nudge these apart here. You want to be careful though. You want to make sure you leave yourself on a ball to get over there, to, to uh, get in front of the black. Yeah, but you don't want to kill him either. And he's just put them both hard on the cushion. So, look, yeah, that's... You can say unlucky, but he, was, uh, he can work out how he's going to hit them, and that's that's a mistake. So. Oh, my last few minutes I've been on mute, so that's impressive. So, uh, oh well, welcome, everyone, welcome, yeah. Trent. <laughs> yeah, thanks. And um, that's good. So they've just heard me talking to myself. Yeah, it's fantastic. Won't be listening to that playback. Um, no, nah, well, they, that was pretty. Uh, because they actually touched my ear and then I heard something go beep but I had no idea what I was touching. Oh, you are an amateur and you've turned yourself off. Yeah. That's understandable, mate. We all did that once. Yes. Um, he's probably just going to have to drop this over the pocket, mate. I don't see any value in... Uh, well, there isn't. There's, you'd be crazy to have a dip from here. No, and Robbo, it wouldn't surprise me if he tried to run forward and leave, leave the wide strictly behind Dead behind the black. Yeah, that's a that's a good option. Yeah, and that's exactly what he's done. Jeez, I should do this all the time. You should, mate. No, it's not bad. Hundred percent, hundred percent, because all the mistakes you made, you were switched off. So yes, correct, <laughs> correct, <laughs> correct. So he's in in a lot of trouble here, Alec. Can he just push the black down to the bottom cush? Yeah, I'd say that's what he's it's not going to do, or just touch it, well, depending he, on where. Robo's got two balls on rails, and the one over the hole really doesn't help the one on the cushion. But yeah, I thought he would just touch it. Just control the pace of this. It was a hard bit when you're playing the push shot. He can probably use the yellow to slow it down, though, so. i use the yellow to push it towards the pocket a bit more as well. Yeah. Mm, still a good shot. That's a good shot. Just kicked out the dead ball, which is a bit of a problem. Well, Robbie needs to make a couple of good pots. He needs to knock in the plant. You reckon he needs to... Yeah. He's not on the one up top? Yeah, he is. But 
the easiest opportunity you're going to get to get rid of this one on the rail is playing the plant, I reckon. Well, I reckon he can put him from anywhere, so I don't reckon he's going to do it. Let's see how good we are. <laughs> I'd be taking the plant on. So saying that, Robbo probably won't. <laughs> so, um, so there's no feedback, there's no commentary on this. What, what's going on? No, no one abusing me as commentator. Or? Give it time, mate. Okay, I can't wait for the feedback. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, how, oh. The, how in the name of God did that drop? Tell you yeah. what, he won't be disappointed. Yeah, not at all. But now he might play the plant. Well, see, and this is what I don't like. You, you play it from this angle, and it's, it's easy for the red to come out and not leave yourself on it. The angle he was on before, the white was coming in and out off the cushion, yeah. and you were going to have a shot. I think he's looking to play in rail first. Oh, no. Yeah, he's maybe he's playing, playing the plant. Is he playing the plant or is he playing yeah. the red off the cushion? No, he's definitely this playing it. If he plays it right off the cushion, he's, he's got I'm, no shot unless he belts a crab at it. I'm not understanding what he was trying to line up then. Just looking where the white's going off the... This, this is the money shot right now. Yeah. That's... Yeah, and that was that's the issue I was talking about. <clears throat> oh, yeah, because you were going inside last time and this yeah game, the white was going to come out yeah. and you, you'd be on that ball and he's going to have to leave himself an angle on this to try and extract the black or just to, get, to land dead on that bottom cushion yeah I've been a big fan of these cash games over the last few weeks, and uh, it's been good, hasn't it? It's yeah. uh, more filming going on. Yeah, like I, I spoke to Jake on the phone the other day, and he's saying people from in Canada and all, all over all over the world were watching him play. Yeah, all of his mates, and it's good. And it was I couldn't get the WA, <laughs> but I could. It was I a fantastic match them. to watch too. Mm. But look, it's it's getting better for Dan. Like he. He sent all his gear over to WA and someone hooked him up over there and he did it remotely from here, so. Yeah. So even the more we can do that, the more pool we get to see and the more, the more good money matches and the more exposure pool gets. So he's just got to leave himself probably half, or yeah, I would have thought a bit bad. more angle than that, but that's okay. Tricky shot. You got to stay that, inside the line, and you got to avoid the jaw yeah. and hitting the yellow, and and still get your pace right. But that's one thing that these two players are specials on, and that's their pace. And look at that. Tell you that's what, that's just beautiful. That's you really can't hit a ball much no, better than that. No, that's beautiful. Well, what well, what I'll do is it's my it's my shout, so. Yeah, it's a bit. Michael's sitting there touching don't, himself. Don't, it's a bit let's, let's not, let's not repeat what he's doing. Yeah, that's great a, finish. That's a great big finish. finish from Mark. I'll hand you over to Michael because it's his shout. It's my shout. So, uh, all right. Oh, wait, are you still eating or what? Thanks. Thank you, Trent. No worries. It's been a pleasure. Always. All right, six two to Robbo, and uh, definitely been quite a few errors, quite a few mistakes. Uh, welcome back, Michael. Please, please don't leave again. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> yeah. So we got to see the inside of uh, Trent's mind. Yeah, no, we don't want to see. How the, was it? Yeah. Did I'll, he call everything correct? I'll, I'll, yeah, well, no, he made a couple of mistakes, but he, yeah, he, he wasn't too bad, mate. 
did he make up new like considering new how shots? No, <laughs> considering how he actually plays, he was surprisingly accurate about how Robbo was going to go. So uh, six two, mate. This is a long way back for the for the big man. Well, after the last few frames of pace was sort of uh, given to Mark, and then now Mark made that out, landing on that black and knocking it in. And I wasn't doing what Trent said, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. All right. This is uh, last roll of the dice, I reckon, for Ace. Yeah, definitely needs this frame. Marks hit them absolutely plumb. I'll tell you what. Oh, he'd probably, probably just take yellows, I think. Yeah, the opening red's a bit tough. Yellow, yellows are better anyway, I think. Yep. Having that uh, at second glance. So you can just see he's worked it out pretty quick. Just run the one in the centre, play the bottom right, the bottom left, and then play the uh, one in the middle of the table to the bottom right-hand side of the table. I assume that's what he was looking at. And then he can drift up towards the table for the last remaining two balls. I'm just checking and see if that goes in the centre. If it does, he'll probably go that way. Yeah, shouldn't be any dramas here, mate. So that yellow in the middle does go in a few pockets. It all depends on how he lands. He may even get on. This, he may even get on it now. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. No. Yeah. If he's on it now, he, he might take it and just stun into the red. He stuns into the red. Get a hold. Just bounces off the bottom cushion, no. Right? So he's gone his original A. Is he straight enough to hold this? Or is he going to have to run through the gap between the two, the red on the side cushion, the left side? Come off the cushion with a bit of left-hand side. Yeah, he reckons he can hold. See from where we are, looks like he's going to run straight in the reds. But he might be able to just roll it in and land, land on the yellow. Tell you what, there's not going to be any pace on it. That, quite that, nice. that, that looks too far. You think it's a bit straight? Too straight. I'm, I'm talking about not being on it. I think he's on it. If it looks dodgy from where we are, I would say it's on it. He's on it. But let's have a quick look. Fifty-fifty. All right, Pete. I think uh, he can roll it in, but it will hit the left-hand side of the jaw, and I think he's got to hope, just hope that the nap takes it in. Well, so he's not on it. So there's no point in even playing it. And that's what he's uh, decided. Yeah, because even if he pots it, he's on nothing. Yeah. So. Now we need Ace to capitalise on this. All right, let's go Ace. Opportunity he definitely wouldn't have thought he was getting. No chance. Yeah, that's loose from Mark there. I, I well, I would have, I would have played. I, I would have been worried about holding there, so I probably would have played firmer and in between the red on the side cushion, the other two, and then leave yourself half ball on the yellow, and then you get up the table. Yeah. It couldn't go, couldn't really go wrong that way. Unless um, he took just being on the bottom of the cushion for granted and he didn't come around and work it out properly. Yeah. You know, it he just really needed to be an inch or two off the cushion rather than sort of be where he was. Because where he walked around to line up that ball, it didn't look yeah. possible to land there. Well, I think maybe, yeah, I mean, if, maybe if he'd come up another inch, uh, he would have been fine. But yeah. Yeah. But look, he six two up against a great man, so. But uh, look, I went around and had a look at it, and he was only probably three mil off, four mil off of, of that being right. Yeah. So, you know, and he could have hit it softer too. He could have cheated the pocket a bit more, but you know, wasn't meant to be. He's going to run this and try and try and get in behind the reds. Yeah, he'll need, he'll, he'll need to come forward a bit. A little bit of running, running side. Yeah. And he's done that. 
and I think he's left the mark on it. And things aren't going right for Ace right now. No, he's fine. He's down. He's he's had one quick look and he's all right. Another let off the mark. Yeah, big one. I don't know if I can see a way back from seven two, mate. If there was anyone else, I'd probably say no. But being ace, it's. I'm pretty sure in the, his uh, few years of playing pool, <laughs> he's been in most uh, predicaments. You know, up, down, and he's. I'm pretty sure he's won from either end. Yeah, I agree. But by the same token, Robo will need to make a lot of mistakes for yeah. that to and happen. He's a, he's, a, he's a good front runner too. Yeah. He's, he's the type of person just to keep on, you know, kicking you in the head basically. Yeah, he is. So Dan, we need a, uh, a little score update. Be interesting to see how Alec attacks it now, whether he's going to, you know, whether he's going to slow it down or keep having a go at the balls I think uh, I don't think Ace is doing anything wrong he's just he's just um, playing a, you you know, know, he's missed a few easy shots yeah. and, but he's still and, and going about it the right way yeah I, if I was Ace I'd, uh, I wouldn't change anything honestly I'd just keep going the way he's going he, he's, he's really been in front in most of the frames he's, and he's, yeah. he's given it back to Mark he so has had control of a lot of them do not do not change your game just just keep going and um, just try not to obviously well this is a good chance he's got Balls in, middle of the table. Choice, These easy starters on both balls. What do we go here? Well, it's prob probably got to be the yellows. Yeah. Well, the yellow down the right hand side of the table does go. You could leave it to last, so you land on the black. You could. If you want to go reds, you're gonna. You've got a few. Uh, I possibly go reds now, knocking the one in the corner, and uh, try and you hit the need, red full ball. You only need to nudge it. Yeah, if you hit it full ball, you're not going to the cushion, or you can play it harder. I think you've got to play it off the cush. You're too much chance of kicking the yellow in if you play straight at it. Yeah, yeah definitely off the cush. And sort of try and come up at it. Now, do you play it soft and try and nudge it over, or do you play it harder and try and nudge it sort of in play more? Well, you sort of want to nudge it into that other yellow, or... Yeah. Because you want so to try maybe and keep rolling it. into it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because you don't want to lose your white too much either. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. So, what red does he have next? That's, the one that's it. might be only the one in the middle. Well, that's the thing. So, so do you now try and nick this red sort of half ball and try and, and, and sneak it across the table and bring the white up the table. Soggy mop. Yeah, as little movement as possible. Okay. That's perfect. That, that's fine. Absolutely yeah. plumb. Controlled the white. Yep. And... There's still yeah. a little bit of work to be done, but... Yeah, there is. I'm just trying to figure out when he takes the red under the black. Because you don't, you don't um, want to leave it till last. Actually, you can leave it till last and play, and play, play the off top. the cushion into the black. Yeah. You're gonna, le you're gonna be left with a shot on it. And if you're too straight, in a way, you can always play the black in the top corner, but or just, or just stun to the cushion and play it in the middle. Yeah. If it goes in the middle, I suggest you pot the red and then stun into the yellow that's on the rail and then you'll leave yourself fat on the black. Yeah. He's come a bit far but I think he's still on it. No, that's yeah, it's alright. So you back yourself and play this one now in the bottom left? Well No, probably not. It, you you really want the white ball another foot up the table, up this yeah. way. So then you can roll it in and just naturally come, come out. Come out, yep. So I just want to come down towards the middle of the table here. Yeah, he's under hit that. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's really going to have to uh, play this one now with pace if he, if he takes it. Yeah, I reckon he'll take the other one now. The, the, mid the middle of the three reads. I would have thought with that last shot he played, it was probably always best to overhit it. Now, if he was down, the, down this end of the table, another two feet, he was fine. Because yeah, he could nick it in, and in or over would have been fine. I agree. So, so he wants to run this in and head over towards that yellow in the middle, yeah. near the middle pocket. Bit of, bit of check and try and go towards the centre pocket. Yeah, it's a testing pot with uh, check on it. Mm, hasn't hit it. Still got the double now. He I think might, he landed fine on the double. He might have two doubles. Um, I think you can play this one with top, come off the cushion and come back out. It's pretty, but pretty tough to get movement when they're that close together. Yeah, but I think that the two doubles is what you said uh, is probably better for the out because he can land on the black quite nicely and he might even be able to get it in or over with his last red. Tell you what, it, it'll get him going if he finishes here. Well, let's hope he gets it so uh, so the match isn't a runaway. Well, he's more than capable, we know that. He's playing top, so oh, he hasn't hit it. And it was going straight in the middle of the hole too. Mm. A little bit tricky for Mark, but... Just play this yellow across. He might just... He, the ball that he's looking at now, he could play half ball and then roll the white up along the uh, yellow to the right of it and snooker, snooker ace. But there's uh, plenty more options out there than that. Looks like he's trying to cut this in. Uh, I'll tell you what, shot. he might be able to get another extraction next next shot. Yeah. I, th I didn't think that shot was possible from where the yellow was. It, no, it didn't, didn't look too thin, otherwise that was definitely the way to go. And I can tell you he's got the angle to get the extraction here if he wants it. Uh, he's going to have to play this quite nice, though. No, he's just going to roll out. But, yeah. Because he can use the other ball to knock the other one out. It's just landed a little bit of a funny angle on both. Try and play the one in the right middle and then hold. Yeah, I'd say I don't think he's got a choice. Just come off. He's uh, got a nice angle now to sort of screw back. Needs, needs to land around the angle of, uh, of where the eight is. With the way he's potting, I mean, he could just stun over and, you know, snipe both balls in, which looks like what he's going to do. Yeah, if the confidence is up, which it should be at 70. Just in general, over the last few days, he's been playing well. And uh, do he just doesn't look like missing. Soft stun here. Oh, he's missed the one you'd expect him to get. All right, backing him in here, mate. Yeah, I, I think Ace will uh, pot out here. <laughs> Possibly go black last. <laughs> nice pace. Sit now, he's just going to stun out, put the uh, black in the same pocket as he did that last red. Uh, just held, no problem. Okay. And again, it looked like he had too much uh, yeah. angle for that. Yeah. I didn't even think he could do that. Held it easily.
All right, 7-3. 7-3 marked a break. Oh, big break for Marky. And uh, thanks to those guys out there too, if there's anything wrong with uh, the mics or echoes or anything like that, just uh, message either Peter or I or Dan, letting us know so we can fix it straight away. Um, that way everyone else can uh, enjoy the viewing. And by something wrong, that doesn't mean what we're saying. Well, that too. <laughs> I'm open for suggestions. Yeah. Always learning, it's good. What's he got a yellow? Yeah, he's got a yellow. I think he was walking off because he didn't think he'd have one, but... It's amazing with the net pocket, so you never never really hear the balls drop. So sometimes you, you don't think you've potted a ball, you walk off and, yeah, you've, you've potted one or two. Yeah, I don't know if you remember uh, in Darwin when I was playing Justin. And Justin smashed him. They went all over the joint and he didn't get a ball in. Rusty's jumped up going... Come on, Justin. Come on, mate. <laughs> and I've looked at the table. I've counted him. I'm still sitting here. I've counted him again. He's done it again. I've counted him again. I've looked at him. He's just laughing at me. And then, then I hear 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, yeah, maybe I didn't hear one drop, but no, none dropped. <laughs> yeah, he's left himself a bit awkward here. He's all right, he still should pot this, just makes position a lot harder. I think he's just come far enough. Drop down into the middle of these two. Two on the bottom cush. Yeah, if he's got an angle, he might even, I mean, he might even opt to sort of go into the yellow and red. Or even go directly into the red. But Looks like he's a bit wide. Yeah. Oh, look, he's taking and the, he's taking he's the taking other, other ball. <laughs> That looked like he was snooking on this one. So you probably want to run this and, and play the plant. Yeah. And that way, if the plant misses, he's left the white. Don't worry, Never mind. Don't worry about the plant missing. All right. Another opportunity for Ace. Maybe thinking I've just got to take these opportunities and I'm back in the match. Yeah, well, he handed a few to Mark, and now, now Mark, you know, Mark hands a few back, then, you know, game on, you know. Yeah, well, it's only fair. That's it. Has he hit it? Just, I don't think he's hit it hard enough. Oh. Well, <laughs> only, uh... He, he hit it hard enough if he was trying to double it in the middle. <laughs> yeah, the, the table the table is playing well. It's just it's just pulling up very quick. The bed cloth's not real tight. Mm. It looks looks really good, but yeah. Yeah. So tighter the cloth, the better it runs. Usually run a bit quicker, yeah. So you want it tight, but you can actually. <laughs> no comment, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just. I just want to know for the future. <laughs> if I was ever going to get my table recloth, Pete. Oh, you are, I was going to say you're upset because Mark's moving out. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. That's a pretty reasonable shot from Robo there. <laughs> and it didn't look like it did a hell of a lot, but he's... Well, he, oh, I don't know which way he goes. He, look, it's tough to play... If he plays the one in the left corner, and then he plays the one on the rail, it doesn't leave. it's very hard to leave yeah. himself angle on the red near the middle to get on the black. But then knocking the one in the centre with a bit of pace could jump out, Makes so... It, yeah. Unless he just stuns it, then rolls this one in the corner, and then cuts it across and runs up the table. What if you play the one in the bottom left and sort of come up the table for the one in the centre, and sort of 
knock the one in the center, and then in a way you can come. I know you can yeah. come back down for the one on the bottom, but look, he can back himself in just to roll the yeah. one in the middle and just run the black yeah. down. And it's I think it's best to sort of just really soft, you know, soft. Um, yeah, put this one in. This is a way to go. I reckon he wanted to come off the cushion a bit more than that. Uh, I think he's fine. I think he can. No, no, it looks come out past yeah, the yellow, it's a bit and then he can roll. That looked, yeah. That looks good. That's a great shot. Yeah. And he need to he needed to be high enough so he's not playing the red and then landing behind the yellow. He's trying to snook at himself a few times, and and I think that is because, like he's as you said, the uh, the balls are pulling up, just hitting the brakes a fraction more than they think they're going to. That was one way to make sure you weren't Chinese snooker. Yeah, I reckon he'll knock this in, mate. I think it will chore. If he is like that, it will. Uh, judging that he's still standing there, I'm going to say it missed. <laughs> yeah. Unless he you was gotta, just standing there staring at an empty pocket. <laughs> you got to knock it in a bit harder than that. If you roll it, yeah, they could they could roll in, they could nap in well, like that, and that's what it did. But if you think about the one he played before in the diagonal opposite pocket, he's missed it and it went in because it was at that pace. Yeah. So look, it's not not an easy uh, not an easy opportunity by any stretch, but still an opportunity. Oh, so, uh, Marty Andrews has given Trent a mouthful, saying he's no good on the commentary. Uh, at, least, at least he's having a go. It's very easy to say from home, Marty. Uh, sorry, Michael's just taking a phone call. A work call. They're calling me now. Yeah. Because all you do is sit around waiting for them to call you, mate. Yeah, but not nine o'clock at night. Yeah, it was, was a joke. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that back. <laughs> a tough opportunity for Ace, but it's an opportunity. It's good. Yeah, I'd like to see him get this and, and uh, really make this a match. And you can really see what two world-class players, you know, when when they put under the pump at eight or nine all. Yeah. You can really see what happens. So he's taking the double on now. Which basically, this this double here is pretty much your black ball. You you knock it in, and you can roll in the the next two yellows. Okay. Yeah. He's he might even be able to try and get a snooker too if he comes around. But yeah, and you. If you do, if you do play it that way, it's half a shot to nothing, and you've still got the cut in the middle. Yeah. Just all or nothing looks good. That's a great well shot. Done. Great shot. Come at, on, Ace. At, at seven three down, <laughs> that's a very big shot. That's it. And once again, you know, like it was, it was a calculated shot too. So. Yeah, absolutely. If, if he went, if he played the other yellow ball, uh, sorry. If he played the other balls, oh god. If he played the other balls and tried to land on that one down the rail look, later, he yeah. may have missed it. Yeah, that's but, right. But he landed fat on it now. Take it now. And as we said earlier, he's very good doubler. Yeah. And don't don't be scared to take shots like that on because this is the reward you get. You knock in the double, you win the frame. Risk if, versus if you, reward. That's right. If you're scared of uh, missing the double and losing the frame, well, you're probably going to lose it anyway if you go th go the other way, which is probably that, that was, the wrong way. That was his best way of going game. That's and right. That was, and going game was the only way he was going to win the frame. So That's right. So, look, Mark won't be too bothered by that, but there'll be just the tiniest of confidence swings, and this is what happens in these matches. Something like that happens again yeah. in the next frame. All of a sudden, it's a lot more even contest. That's right, you just got to ride the wave. If you're on the bad wave, you ride it until it finishes. If you're on the good wave, you ride it until it finishes. So, And then you just wait for the next one. 
these long matches, the race to 11s, 15s, 21s, 35s, they all have, you know, swings. And, and even 18s. And 18s as well. <laughs> Forgot about that. They have, uh, they have major swings. You know, you saw in Rusty and Jake's match. You know, there was, there was always swings, you know. Rusty win a few ma frames in a row, then Jake would win a few frames in a row, and... You yeah, know, Jake never let it bother him and just kept that two, two or three frame buffer yeah. for most of the match. Yeah. There was a there was a time towards the end where it was one frame and then yeah. Rusty could have uh, came back and you know Mr. Mr. Black. Yeah, but, but he just wasn't good enough. <sighs> no. <laughs> no, it was a, that was a sensational match and yeah, and for considering, mate, they're, they're machines those two. Considering they've played sixty plus Six frames, hours. that is just. It was amazing the quality of pool that they just kept producing. Yeah. So, yeah, hats, of, hats off to both of them. Race of 35 is a long time. I remember yeah. playing a race of 101, and that took four days. That's because we <laughs> we spent like maybe 10 hours a day, eight hours a day playing, and it took four days. Oh, I, well, play, I played three yeah. of them. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure Rusty uh, Rusty enjoyed it <clears throat> as much as Jake did. Obviously, not the ending, but. And he'd, he'd probably be keen to do it again, I'm sure, so. Yeah. Well, I hope it's done again, whether it's with uh, Jake, Mark, you know, Della, Rusty. Yeah. You know, any of these blokes. Be uh, be good to watch again. All right, so good opportunity on Reds here. He's just, just a little bit short, but he can still make it work. His confidence would have just lifted a little bit after that last frame. Do some late night sh late, late night shopping tonight. I need to start my Christmas. Uh, <laughs> Mate, I've Christmas got most shopping. of it done. I've just uh, oh no, I've got to uh, just go uh, buy for the missus tomorrow after work. I'm still what are you still at? working, mate. <laughs> No, we'll, we'll keep that one quiet, I think, because you could actually be listening right now. Hello, dear. Um, yeah, so <laughs> most of my Christmas shopping has been done for ages, mate. But Yeah. Mm. Just a good shot there. So I'd say the... Um the bottom left yellow, then bottom right yellow, drift up towards the uh, centre yellow, and then take the top left yellow. This is what I'm just just seeing here. You're just you're saying yellow a lot, dude. All right. Bottom left ball. Oh, this is this is what I think Mark will do. Right. He's going to play this one now, bottom right, and the centre, and top left, and then the one in the middle of the table is sort of not in the middle. The yellow. He's going to come out on the black. <laughs> yep. And this is the way I'm just reading <coughs> it out. Uh, that's fair enough. I totally agree with you. Now, avoid the Chinese snooker again. <coughs> yeah, I think he's got a bit of angle hit to uh, drift up the table three or four inches. He's not going to be any short. <laughs> <laughs> like a dog with a frisbee, aren't you? You just can't let go. <laughs> oh, that is... Uh, yeah, I'm not happy with it, mate. I don't, like, I don't know why he couldn't just roll it in. and yeah. hey, It might have been Chinese if he did that. But now, does, it, does, he, does that yellow... In the middle of the table, go to the but, center pocket. But why couldn't he just stun it, and then stun the next one, and then stun the next one? He could have played four stun shots in a row. Yeah, maybe it was not. Maybe if he had it perfect, it was too much angle to come down for the black. No, stop making excuses for him. He made an error. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's no oh. good. Yeah, he just jumps, jumps out of his seat. He's he out. Definitely made it. Definitely made an error there. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask him later why that, uh, why he took that option. Go and ask him now while he's Dan. No wonder the keyboard's broken. Dan's just dropped his Pringles on it. 
Once you pop, you can't stop. <laughs> Apologise for the commentary tonight. We're all very tired, it's been but, fine. We, but we still made the effort to come down and do it. <laughs> I'm not alright, mate. I just I just need a week off. Week off, and I'll be recharged again. Uh, just the one trouble ball again, Alec. He he uh, could go same as before. Just take on the one double. Come down for this one on the rail now. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good that's a good photo of you and all your cash, mate. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so when you won five thousand dollars, did you go back to where you were staying and throw it all on the bed and roll around in it? With Robbo or without? We, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we we laid it down on the carpet and it covered half the room. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Oh, Ace. That's still tough though, Michael. This is a really tough out for Mark here. Back in the second he's, seat. Just one moment. That's all right, mate. He's, he really has to roll the dice here and do something. I think he's just looking at leaving, leaving Alec in a spot where he, where he doesn't have a straightforward shot. Yeah, he's just going to roll this in. He's going to punch it in. He might have to punch it, like rolling it in. Oh, he has. Look at this. Oh, the thing is, by rolling it in, he, he does he does have a shot yeah. on it. So now that's a really good pot. Yeah, he wants to try and pick the gap. I don't know whether he can hold. I think he might be able to hold on this one. Tough shot to play dead weight though. He's played it that way. He's got it. Oh, that's, that's fantastic! A, that's a great shot. Ace should be kicking himself. Yeah. Here. He's uh, he has literally. I just looked at him and he's shaking his head. He he knows he's uh, he should be he should be leading. Yeah, seven five, seven five is a big difference there. So um, I'm just going to give uh, Trent the opportunity to jump on and have a go at his critics, and I'll be oh, back I'll in a minute. Trent, Trent, come and say hi again. Fair enough. How are we, Trent? Uh, good, thanks, Michael. Enjoying the match? Uh, having a wear over time. <laughs> <laughs> the score doesn't uh, actually relate how the game's been played. There's been a lot of, a lot of mistakes. Now, before I start talking, Dan, did I mute myself again? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Mark's broke, gone in off. Reds are dodgy, yellows are dodgy. Not really looking good for Ace. Trent, how would you go about this? Mate, whatever I could pot. So you'd pick the white up, where would you put the white? Let me just evaluate. I was reading my, crit my critics on the... Uh, on a Your little fans. tablet, yes. <laughs> yeah, so uh, all's forgiven with Marty because I actually said, uh, for those of you that want to give me a spray, give me a spray. So Marty he was Andrews. just, yeah, he was just doing what he was told. Wouldn't be the first time that he's done what he's told. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, as yes, I would uh, 
pretty much. You go yellows now that Ace is going yeah, yellows? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I would too. Actually, I probably wouldn't, you know. <laughs> but this is why he's he's out there and I'm commentating his match. This is why Ace has won a tournament or two. And, yeah. Uh, and I've just... Teams, man. I just... I just collect a fifty dollars at every tournament. Last hey, thirty two. Come, come on last sixty four the <laughs> last thirty two is quite an achievement. At least I qualify sometimes, you know. <laughs> I'm not sure this is on, I think he's just looking to get this over the pocket. It looks like it's on. That's good enough anyway. Mark's not really because the bottom left hand uh, pocket is is open. Oh yeah, sorry. I thought he was playing me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Mark's going to try and obviously look to uh, get some coverage or even possibly pot out because there's a big pocket down the bottom left there and make an extraction. Yeah, see, this is, that's the only reason why I would have maybe have gone reds because the you red... can't point to the screen. Yeah, I can't. No one knows. Isn't that touch it's screen where I can put the white there? <laughs> Where's my little pen yeah. where I can draw circles on the screen? You're going to tell me what's happening, but verbally, verbally say it. Yeah, because you can sort of run the red down the rail and also push the yellow, push the yeah. yellows to a side, which expose expose the red to the centre yeah. again. And if you if you get a bad land, you've also got the other red in the centre of the table. But I'm sure that's what his plan of attack is. Attack is. Just knock this first red in, and then uh, knock the one in the uh, centre. That's it. So now he can play this yeah, and try and land on the on the uh, on the cushion. Yeah, pretty much where he's aiming now. Yeah. And he can knock it pretty much straight in off the yellow. And if you wanted to, he can screw back and then open up the yellow and black, or open up. Oh, sorry, open up the red. What you wouldn't you wouldn't think he wouldn't want to screw back to open up the balls? Yeah, he's going to screw back after this shot. Yeah. So he wanted to be on the cushion, that's that's probably not good. He really needed to be on the cushion there. And, it, and you can see by his facial expressions and him showing his muscles that he's, <laughs> he's not on he's not on the uh, on the shot. Yeah, I'd, I noticed watching you play the, uh, the other week, you, you came ready for your big match in your big Didn't shirt, perform. your slacks, your, your black shoes. It's good to see uh, Robbo's <laughs> come prepared as well with his... This is his uh, this is his champion gear. Is it? Yeah. Okay. T-shirt, socks, and uh, tracky pants. He doesn't lose in them. Uh, oh, I don't. Sp I <laughs> really <laughs> sponsored by Target. Yeah, I don't. Know. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. He tried to play a little bit of side and 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 guide the red in and didn't didn't play it well enough. So uh, Ace is uh, looking good for this frame, I would say. Yeah. Um, the reason why I like to play in black slacks and shirt is to I like to look I like to look professional. I like to look uh, good out there, obviously, so my opponent can can see that I'm sort of ready for the match and I look I look apart for the match too. Just, and it makes me feel good as well. It makes me feel like I, I do you know, I do believe the player at the table now's philosophy philosophy is you uh, actually play the way you feel, and this is why you always plays in like the like the last day of tournaments in slacks yep but yeah so I i'm just trying to work out what's going on here i don't know who's playing the double i don't even know what the I double's on i think he's trying to push up a safety glance off it yeah, yeah. he's gonna glance off it i don't i don't really I don't see like the value it. I would have probably just, um, to be honest with you, I would have just uh, played the yellow over the bottom left-hand pocket and just basically put it over the pocket. Mm. Left mark, or leave mark on his red. He, he's not putting out from here. And if he does, well, good on him. He's going to have to play a massive out, which, you know, yeah. if you try and if you try and push push the boundaries a bit, make make Mark play a, a big out. And if he stuffs it up, you know, he's only going to feel feel worse, worse off. Which. Uh I, I think Mark's only next shot is just trying to smother a couple of balls. I don't think he can actually squeeze the red underneath. Well, he's only going to send this red down the table, down yeah, towards to the bottom left. just smother it a bit. Yeah, bottom left hand of the... Uh, bottom left hand side of the table. Or even better yet, pot it. 
I don't know whether he really wanted to do that. He just pretty much wanted to get the ball down there. Mm. I don't think he wanted to do that. Oh, I'd, I don't think he'd want to do it either. And if he did, well, it's still it's still fine, but Ace is... Uh, well, when he pots this and open, opens up... Ooh. No, that's, that's what he meant, because the pot wasn't on. I actually thought it was on. So if he wants now, he might be even be able to... Uh, oh, yeah, looking at the table. He could triple triple the yellow across back towards the same pocket, but the only problem with this shot is uh, the red's still on in the bottom left. Yeah, he needs to... He needs to somehow push... Oh, yeah, I'd get rid of the dead ball. Oh. Looks like he's playing the yellow under the red. He's going to try and... Yeah. Good. Fair enough. Well, I'll uh, pass it back on to uh, Peter. I'm you sure you don't want to hand out... You don't want to finish this frame? Oh, oh no. no. For all he's those just taken one of my Pringles, those, all and those he's pulled Pringles out, he's pulled out ten with his big fingers, and he's dropped nine of them. Yeah. They're my Samoan fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you kept Harvey hand? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay, where are so we? So two shots here. Yeah. Actually, no two shots here, Trent. One no, shot. one shot on red. red. Balls. What would you do? <laughs> if you're playing uh, Rolly or Nelson. If I was playing Rolly or Nelson, yeah. I'd explode the pack. Because <laughs> I don't think they're going out. So Mark's are open there. His red ball's up there. Put a little bit more pressure on uh, Ace. To do something here. Actually, some, someone who's who's not someone who's not actually as talented as any one of these players on the table. It's actually <laughs> interesting to see what they do. It's good actually watching it from a, a good angle just to work out how they go about things. That's but right, I think Alex right. is just going to play roll on, and then it's that's a good that's a great, that's a great shot. shot. That is. That is probably the best shot he's played this match so far. Well, yeah, it's a fantastic shot. He played it with control. He knew where the white was going, and to even even just to touch the red to give him better angle for his other yellow was a great shot. I can't believe you're eating and commentating at the same time. Everyone can hear you crunching on your Pringles. No, I've got my mouth shut, and I'm, I'm crunching the Pringles with my tongue, so they can't hear me. Oh. But if you can, if you can hear me, message me, and I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good shot there. Yes. Well, I th what I think he's going to do, Michael, I think he's going to pot three yellows, and then I think he's going to finish with the black. But after the last shot, the, after he shot to start the out, I think it was a great shot. I find it hard to understand you. Mate, it feels like I've got earplugs in my ears, and I don't, <laughs> I don't know how, how I'm talking. So, what ball would you play now? Would you play the one in this maybe what? bottom left and come up the table for the uh, one I'd go black? The, yeah, I'd go the bottom left in front, in front of the red, and then play the black. The one, next to the, the black. Black. <laughs> the one next to the black. <laughs> the one next to the black. You need to put all three yellows first before the black. Oh, do you? Yeah, leave the black to last. Pete and I realise that you need to leave the black to last. Yeah. <laughs> How do you realise that? After we keep losing. Oh. I oh, hear you had a good match the other other week. Yeah, yes. I got smashed. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Pete's uh, told me up a few weeks in a row. So he just wants to come up about... A foot or two, that's fine. That's well, sort of not fine. I'd have liked to have been maybe so, six inches. So, to here, right. would you play the one in the center or would you have gone to the one over the bottom of the hole? I'd play the one, I would have liked to have played the one in the center. 
I don't know whether he's going to play off the black, but I assume he's just going to roll the yellow in and not touch the black. Well, it's a big risk if he plays it off the black. Oh, oh and I don't think he's hit that hard enough. Ooh. He's not having much luck with these sinners tonight. If it's not the white, it's... He's, he has made a few, uh, few mistakes that really are uncharacteristic of him. So I can't actually see if he can actually see the bottom red. He's having a good look. I think he's going to have to try and play it. Oh, yeah. Could do it easy. So have you had any text messages about your Pringles? No. Because I've got three over here that I'm just waiting to crunch on. <laughs> They're not the ones on the floor, were they? No, these are the ones on the floor. <laughs> This is a tough shot. Yeah. And he's overdone it. And it's and dropped it's in. Worked out. And that's why he's put his hand up because uh, it's. He thought he missed that. Or he was just waving the crowd because it was a good shot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Well, I don't think he'd apologise because you're always trying to pot the ball. <coughs> What's yeah, that? We'd just be waving up. at the crowd. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. It's quite a bit crowd here. Yeah. They're just not watching the match, they're playing their own games. Well, I was looking at a few of the crowd members in the audience this evening. There's uh, a lot of talent on the tables. So, uh, <laughs> Robbo goes 9-4 up against Alex. Nine I'm going to eat my Pringles. All right, you do that. Thanks for the uh, commentary. No worries. I would, like, would you like another drink? I would love another drink. Same as last time? Yeah, thanks. thanks. All right. Thank you to the man they call Trent Sausage Fingers Reinheimer. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen girth until you've seen his yeah, fingers. Yeah, it's not for no reason. He's <laughs> 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 uh, a unique individual, Trent. All right, so that was uh, another bad error. Yeah, he's, he has made a few, and I think that's what's going to cost him uh, tonight. Well, it's going to cost him. It's going to cost him 200 bucks. I think Lynn was paying for that. Yeah, that's all right then. Um, or his daughter after the next uh, tournament. After the next golf tournament. Yeah. Soon they'll be playing, if she goes all right, soon they'll be uh, playing for 200000 uh, a game. <laughs> Not a Kinch Robbo, they won't. <laughs> Reds look pretty good here, mate. Yeah. The uh, black's a little bit tricky. So maybe with these bottom right hand reds, we might be able to move some of the yellows or move the black or... Yeah, look, I think the way he's potting you, he'll just back himself to get on it. Yeah. Cut it in. I think the uh, the far right red down the bottom right would be, or could be his last, one of his last balls yeah. to get onto the black. Because he can play it and sort of drift down on the bottom rail. Or even the bottom left hand red to come across. It's, like I'm saying, it's, it's a little bit tricky to get on this black here. And uh, he needs to obviously figure well, if out. You, if you can get rid of these two, then the one over to the left, the one in the same pocket as the black, you can... Uh, you can get on the one on the bottom rail last. It'd be another one of those shots where you can just drop it in dead weight with safety in mind as well. But the way he's played that, I'm guessing he's going to try and get on that now. So maybe uh, pot the one in the middle of the three reds stun across and even try and uh, nudge if you, you can. It's a little bit tricky because you you don't have a wide angle to get past it and you've got to leave yourself yeah. off the cush but 
you've got to not get caught up in the yellows as well. That's right. So only he knows what he's doing here. And maybe Trent. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should take take the, the furthest to the right of the three of them. Screw back, take the one over the left-hand pocket and then do what we said. And get on the get on the one on the cushion last. But he's not listening to me once again. This is still alright. He'll play the one in the bottom right, and he'll drift across. He'll either stun across or uh, come up the top rail where he's pointing at now. He, he might be a bit there. Yeah, he might have to run this across because I reckon he's landed just a touch low on it. If anything, if anything, come into the yellow like half ball into the yellow because well, at least then you'll be on your red he might have too much angle he might be on the other side of it should be able to punch it in I think no uh, he's just going to roll it and cut it across oh wow okay very muff still straightforward it's just a, just a tricky pot if it goes in your position's natural, it's all good. I'm be surprised if this uh, sits over the pocket though. It, on this table, it's quite a dodgy shot. Yeah, he knocked one of these in earlier though, so... Not hard enough. Alright, ace. Another... Another very good opportunity here. I think I just saw some talent that Trent was talking about. And it wasn't on this table. <laughs> Certainly wasn't. <laughs> um, the yellow at the top left does go, the, the one that's just under the one right at the top of the table, does go under the uh, red down the bottom left. This, this would be a good snooker here, mate. Yeah. Very tough to get out of, I think. Oh, well, he's got to hit it. He's hit it. He really wanted it sort of up on the uh, yellow. Tight, tight against it. Yeah. Mark can get out of this off the side cushion and even maybe put his red back over the pocket if he hits it right. It's a little bit tricky. If he goes across the table, he's going to have to probably use side. Yeah, I'm still thinking maybe up and down come off the side rail about halfway and then uh, into the red that's at the bottom bottom left. It's a little bit dangerous because you... Could you, open it, it up yeah, for the other, yeah. Or you open it up for the black. And you leave him on his toughest ball. Well then you just nestle up on it and you don't hit it that hard. <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. Yep, you just don't hit it that hard. <laughs> It's easy to overdo. Yeah, so he's coming off the side rail with it, right hand side. A good chance of coming back into the yellow. Oh, oh look at this, it's gone through everything. <laughs> yes. It's actually quite, in a way, a bit, bit stiff that he didn't hit that red. But it's still a difficult shot what he was doing. Alec might just play the, the yellow he's closest in line with. Off, off the inside of that red. So he's got one to put in the hole. He needs to get something inside these reds. Yeah, I think he'll play this uh, one he's going for, drift up to the top of the table. You think he'll play the one he's going for? Yep, that's right. Because he's <laughs> have a pretty good chance he's going to hit it. <laughs> Alright Pete, thanks for that one. <laughs> right out in the limb there. Yeah. <laughs> And he's going to hit a yellow ball. Yeah, so he'll drop this in and then play the yellow under it down. That's right, yeah. And he's definitely going to go for the ball he's going to hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's probably probably gone a little bit far into the cushion. Yeah. there. He didn't, want, he didn't want that much angle. He may have to play this with, like, stun this now yeah. to avoid the middle pocket. He sort of wanted to be more dead straight so he can come down oh. towards where the black was. He can probably still run it, actually. Yeah, but what I'm, yeah, what I'm yeah. saying was he, he, yeah. he didn't want to be that far over. He wanted to drift down towards where the black was. He, he might hit this quite hard now and try and get down the table. Oh, oh this will be tell you what, it goes in, don't go in. so unlucky. 
that is unlucky. I mean, he did hit that thick. He, he probably should have come off the cushion a bit more, yeah, but that is that is stiff by the way. Very, very stiff. That is really stiff. So, foul snooker maybe? Do you, yeah. If it is foul snooker, do you just sort of run into the yellow? Foul snooker twice, I think. No, I, well, I wouldn't even bother having ball in hand. I might just use what their first shot to play the yellow that he's pointing at now. Yeah. Hit it to the cushion, leave the white there, pop the red, stun across for the black, or roll down for the black. And maybe nudge into one of the yellows just to hold yourself. Yeah, that's the way to go. Yep. Oh, that's oh just my just God. <laughs> it's obviously rolled off. Yeah, that's the nap, Mark. It's just the nap. <laughs> Mark's just saying he played a bad he just, shot. He just said the balls are rolling everywhere. How does he expect them to move around the table? Oh. Of course they roll. And he's at a Trent Reinheimer. <laughs> oh, that, now he's upset about his position. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> he's just telling Ace that uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna knock this in so you can just sit there. Yeah, yeah, I bet that's what he said. And there's, there's, I think there's ants on the table, so I just want to put his finger down. He's, he's <laughs> allergic to green. You need finger extensions. <laughs> oh, let's, let's not talk about your sex uh, life again, mate. <laughs> yeah, 30 seconds. This is this this is actually getting really funny. I'll tell you now. I reckon he's just playing silly buggers. I reckon he knew from the word go that's how he was going to play it. Yeah. And just dramatised it all. That's right. Yeah. You, you got to do it for the cameras. <laughs> He'll do that for the cameras, but he won't wear shoes. <laughs> well, you can't see his feet. Well, that's pretty much all she wrote, Michael. Yeah. There you go, mate. My uh, bottle of water, Mr. my third bottle of water for tonight. Mr. Sausage, Mr. Sausage Fingers bought your drink back. <laughs> Alright, come on Ace, run a few racks. Yeah. Just to uh just to put a bit of fear it got into, you know, Mark after dramatizing that whole thing. Yeah, doing a bit of a Benny, I think. <laughs> So after the way that the night's gone, I really can't see this going in. Yeah. And it's no, I mean, that's no dig, but it's just, no, he's, it's the way things have happened Yeah, tonight. look, he's, he's made a lot of mistakes and stuff hasn't worked for him as well, which is often, often go hand in hand, so. And look, Ace, Ace will never give up. If, if Mark chops this, I guarantee you, Ace is still going to be fighting for the next frame, the next frame. Oh, what's he, he, what's he, what's he, he doing now? He's going to play another circus shot, is he? Possibly. If he can get his fingers on the table. I haven't given a player this much of a serve since the last time I watched you and him play, mate. <laughs> uh, what well, you were about 9 3 up in a race to 11 and you're laying snookers when you got an easy out? No, it was a race to 15 <laughs> and. You gotta do whatever it takes. Oh, he's accidentally hitting the yellow and now he's fat on all the other yellows. You reckon he was going for reds then? <laughs> well, there was only a quarter of the pocket there. Uh, all jokes aside though, Mark will be, uh, he'll be disappointed that Alex played like this. He, he would have wanted a really tough match and 
Well, yeah, I mean, Alex has thrown away a few frames, and Mark's, uh, you know, he's capitalised on them. And yeah, and Mark doesn't want to beat him when he's having a bad day, you know, so... At the end of the day, um, you know, Mark still be happy with the win. Like, he's only ever really beaten Ace once out of, like I said, the last six, seven, eight times they've played. And Mark was reeling off uh, at home. He was reeling off to me pretty much every time he's played Ace. He's lost in the quarters here, last 16 here, final there, semis there. You know, he, he, he knows just about every match. He knows every match that he's played with Ace, and he, and he was telling me how uh, basically he hasn't beaten him. He's beaten him once. And, uh, you know, this will, this will mean a lot to him. You know, it doesn't matter if it was for 200, 500, 1,000. Yeah. This, no, this not beating the, not him the will, money. Uh, will, will mean a lot. Obviously, Ace will be disappointed with, uh, yeah, the, f the few frames he's let go tonight, but... Oh, it's good of him to come down. He, he he hasn't been playing a lot. It's good of him to come down and have a set. He was uh, yeah. he was ov all, over here for uh, some family for stuff. <laughs> no, that that's certainly not the case. <laughs> uh, I was going to say he's a bit eager to play, but so yeah, sorry, he was coming down for uh, at the birth of uh, gone. Yeah, the next baby. The grandchild. That's right. Which was a, a boy, I believe, named Reed. No, named Hunter, sorry. Reed is uh, Chooker's kid. Well, Hunter's, Hunter's Colby and Jamie's kid, but. Yep. Yeah, the, uh, just speaking to Lynn before, and uh, yeah, they've, they've named him Hunter, and um, yeah, the only other person I know that's got a, obviously a kid called Hunter is uh, Colby and Jamie. And the great Jamie Stevens was meant to come down here and commentate, but um, Dan wouldn't pay him uh, what he wanted. Yeah, it's all, so. it's all about the money for Jamie. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> no, 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 actually. He's renting we, his three houses. We can't even say that as a joke. Jamie gives a lot of his time to cue ball TV. That's right, when he's getting as, paid. As do we. As do we. <laughs> <laughs> and we all do it willingly. That's right. We don't ask for a thing. That's right. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now we do what we can to uh, help out the sport, and Dan is uh, doing a absolute bucket load. To yeah, help Dan, out the sport. Dan does all the hard work. We just sit here and ramble on. So and he does exist, by the way. He's, he's like he's like big brother, but he just doesn't talk. No, he's a real person. <laughs> he's a real person. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like not like Milko runs Cube Ball TV. Come on, Ace, pot out. One one tricky red to negotiate. Could be all five, the way Ace is going at the moment. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell him you said that. Don't. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'll watch this. It's amazing though when you are feeling, well, when things aren't going right, even the simplest of outs oh, can feel so hard. Everything looks difficult, yeah. Yeah. I remember a couple of times under the pump of it, you know, I've got three balls in the open and the black, and you get ball in hand and you, you can't figure out which way to go. Yeah, you think, why is it so hard? Mm. It happens to everyone. And that's what Ace is doing right now, he's thinking, God, yeah, how four tricky, balls out in the open. How, how tricky do these look? Unless you just make a mark wait. Which he probably deserves, actually. Yeah. Oh, I think it's good what Mark's been doing as well. He's he's trying to G up a lot of people for these money games. And and he yeah, has, and he's been getting a few given starts or, or whatever, but he's, it's he's, getting more people interested. So That's right, yeah. He's got a, uh, a big name in his uh, site next after this. And that will be, uh, if it all goes ahead, that will be uh, mentioned very shortly. Right. Big match, big name. I thought we were mates and you're not able to tell me, but whatever. <laughs> but yeah, look, I... I don't always agree with the way he goes about it on uh, on Facebook with people, but he's 
he's getting the results. He's getting uh, he's getting people talking about pool and yeah, and playing games, playing matches, and yeah, it's good. It's it's nice to actually watch him play a match that he doesn't have to give a start in. Mm. He's been doing that a lot a lot lately. And, and look, uh, well, the, this is the other thing that people are missing. I, I think this obviously goes. Yeah, even if he nudges the yellow, should still be on one of the reds. I know. He, he wanted all, to cover all it. these people that are playing, Mark, and and taking the start. Why don't these guys, instead of playing Mark, play each other off scratch? I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of the start myself, but I've never taken the start in my life. And me neither, and nor would I. Except I did give him a go with his six start. Yeah, but you did it both ways. We did, we did. And you'd always planned to do it both ways. Well, so not really. He said to me at the start that he wasn't going to, just no. to put more pressure on me. And I did play Mark, and he gave me six start, and I lost. And it's very hard with a six start to... Uh, and, I've never done it before. And, and then what happened? And then I did play him, and I gave him a six start, and I beat him. That's right. And he, uh, he like, for someone that doesn't get a start, it, it's hard to... It, it's weird. I don't even know how to describe it. Well, but your intensity is not the same. No, not yeah. And basically, like, if you give a six start, um, and like when I gave him or when he gave me the six start, I lost. Yeah, probably four, five, or so. And uh, you know, then I'd win one or two, and then I'm thinking, well, hang on, I've only won two, and he's won, you know, four, five, or six, and yeah. the scores are like, you know, seven, five, or something like that, and you think you can't win. It's a good shot. You know, that is a good shot. But yeah, it's really weird when you have a start. It's the other guy can win five, and you can win one or two, and the scores, you know, remain close. Yeah, you, it all depends on how you mentally approach it, being on either side. Yeah, well, we did. I, I did learn a lot from uh, from doing that. But it's, it, it is very hard to get the intensity up the whole time when you've given the start. Yeah. Yeah, when you're actually giving it, when when I gave him the start, I tried so hard, and I think I won the first five in a row. Is he there? Yes, he's there. He's got it. Two cushions, two cushions come around for the black in the side. Yeah. All over. So, all over. Unfortunately, it wasn't the match that we expected, but... Um, no, but that's full. That is full. Oh, look. Obviously, oh. oh, my God. <laughs> He's missed it. He's, He's absolutely missed it. He's no, chopped it up. No, absolutely no kick He's there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Ace. If, if you... <laughs> he said it was the, an explosive kick. I can't believe he lifted his head that high on the shot. <laughs> wow, that is awesome. If you could see, if you saw the look that Robbo gave us in viewers. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Robbo. Got, hey, butters. God, God will just not allow allow me to beat this man. God, God just won't allow it. He's just d denying me. Denying me forever beating this man. Oh, well... Yeah, you, would, you wouldn't believe the song and dance he's put up after getting one kick. The balls way. have run for him so well all night. Nothing's gone right for Alec, and he's getting the shits about one kick. I mean, come on, mate. Let's all get behind this man. Yeah! Hey, come on, Alec. <laughs> kick. It's uh, funny, because on this angle, you just couldn't see the kick. Uh, there was no kick there, and he'll even say it later. There was no kick, but I just had to say it, because... Uh, yeah. You know, I don't miss balls. People are watching. Oh, I have a brother that plays all right. Did <laughs> 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 Robo just said to Alec, did you will the kick? And Alec goes, no, mate, you just can't finish me. <laughs> <laughs> we have a turning point in the match. Yeah. I've got to say now, I reckon Alex's uh, favourite. Me personally, um, I don't know if everyone would agree. And we'll but, just really um, cut to he a... Uh, he's probably one of the best players in ad. the old rules. And in my opinion, new rules too, Alec Evernardis. This is uh, Mark Thomas. Um, 
just never plays a silly the shot. Is so good. smart, so good at all aspects of the game. Um, so mentally tough. And when was this? Doesn't matter if you you way in front, way behind. It, it, it doesn't matter. You've never beaten him until you've actually knocked in that final black. And my record against him is absolutely terrible. I think I've beaten him once in about eight goes. Yeah, I, I think you're actually in a bit of trouble now. Yeah, uh, how are you going, Robbo? Well, as you can see, pretty shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just falling over, falling over the line more than him. That's pretty much it. <laughs> it's um, yeah, not much to say really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, mate. Too much arrogance, this guy. I think the ego is getting the better, better of him. Oh well. Alright, well, I mean, there's been a momentum swing, mate. New favourite. Good. Playing Gase. Ace just come back from the toilet. He, he's breaking a go on game here. That's it. Red ball potted. Get on one, get on one. Go the yellows. Yellows look Ooh. okay. Don't know whether that bottom right one goes past the red. I reckon it will. It looks dodgy here, so I'd say it would too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's generally the best way to work it out when you're watching on the screen. Yeah, so 10-5, look, I, if it gets back to 10-7, I think we we do have a... Yeah, then, no, I don't think so. Oh, oh come on. Mark won't feel pressure until about 10-8, I reckon. Oh, I was, was going to say 10-8, but I'm giving it 8, it, Alex. It uh, depends how the here. frames go. If Mark gets opportunities and chops them, then the pressure will build you quicker. You mean get kicks all the time and get, sorry, he doesn't chop them. Sorry, get kicks. Yeah. If that happens, then the pressure's going to build more quickly. <laughs> Ace will just be saying Ace will be happy that he's still over, in it. Not over till it's over. Well, Ace should be pretty much packing his queue up right now, so he would take this uh, opportunity. Um, and hopefully he can... Uh, I don't know, give us a bit more of a show. You've really got nothing to lose now. I mean, you you probably should have already lost. Yeah. Tell you what, that's, um, any... He, he's cured. He's freed up the arm a little. Yeah. Nothing to lose, so yeah, it feels comfortable. I remember getting a kick, uh, well, my opponent getting a kick in, uh, in a grand final when it was four all first to five in a, in a tournament. It was a, the, the White Horse tournament. Yep. And, uh, Is that your that, one? That would be the one you won? Just No, the one I lost. Ah. It was four all with Mark and I, and uh, he got a kick on the uh, his last ball to land fat on the black. <laughs> and uh, I, I did feel really bad, bad for him, and I, I took on a bit of a crazy out and yeah, chopped it up. But... I learned something that day, you know, if, if you get your opportunity, everyone makes mistakes, everyone gets kicks, and if uh, if it happens, take yeah. it by the horns and... Uh, it all evens out. That's right, so... They just never seem to come at a good time. No. Well, if you Trent, you might get one and the ball might go in. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, 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 you reckon this, this yellow does pass the red? Oh, I think it must, because he'd be trying to get on that now, and then then uh, play the one next to the black in the middle. Uh, done a bit of a Jim, Jimmy Reen there. He has too. This is tricky now. A little bit tricky here, Michael. I think he'd be right. I think if he just rolls it in, no, sort of plays it in with a little bit of pace. Uh, so you sort of roll into the black, he should come out. And which, which pocket's the black going in? Yeah, the bottom left. So you play it sort of... Yeah, I don't reckon he can. I reckon he, okay. yeah, I reckon he has to play it like this. 
Same pocket. Get in there. No, up the top then. <laughs> <laughs> I want this to go in. I've never seen Michael supporting as much against his best mate uh, when he's not playing him. I'm a neutral person, mate. I don't take sides. Get in the hole! Alright. <laughs> 10-6. Good. Well, it's a couple in a row. It's the first time he's won a couple in a row, so. One more frame and those tiny little thoughts of doubts will start sneaking in. And I'll tell you what, what's going to make it really hard on him is hearing you outwardly support against him. That is going to mess with him big time. How would you get here tonight? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I've got room if you need a ride home. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Uh, I actually, I've got, I've got a spare bed too, mate, so... That's my house too. Oh, look at that luck. Oh. Look at that luck. He's just blessed. We're going reds. I don't, um, I don't actually mind the yellows, but yellows, if you can get on one. If the red that he's looking at now is dead, I, I probably would would go yellows, but... Well, the, the only, there's only one dead yellow, really, and that's the one down the bottom of the table. Now, yeah. now the yellow directly above it goes in off this red, which clears it, so... That's right, yeah. Or it's a, it's a, he's got a bit of a linking ball there, too. In a way, if he wants to... Yeah. If he gets down on it early, he can play it and then come up for one or two yellows, but... Yeah, I don't mind them. Reds it is. Unless he misses. Now, That's changed I can a say 100% that didn't help him at all. 100%. 100%. I'd almost agree 100%. <laughs> they're tricky, they're, and they're, now they're even trickier. This is good for Ace. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's good for us. That's it. I want to see this at 10 all. I don't even want to think about my last match here that went to 10 all. Oh, was that a VPPL? Yeah, it certainly was. Oh, look at this. The roll, it's rolled in. It's helped him. Jesus. It, I've never i have never seen a guy this lucky. Yeah, that's pretty lucky. 10-all. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't a very good result from 9-4 up, mate. <laughs> yeah, the Victorian Premier League was uh, awesome, wasn't it? Fantastic. Now, uh, it will be happening again. Oh, I will be in it 100% again next year. Correct. It was fantastic. And that's... 100%. Yeah, Flyers should be coming out soon for the uh, BPPL. The singles should be uh, out the, thir the possibly top 32 now, not 16. Try and go one step further this year, eh, mate? That's right. See you in the final. Yep. Now he's jacking up and playing like what is ridiculous he shots. I don't know, he just he can afford it, he can afford it. Is he laying up? Yeah, pretty soft. <clears throat> he's miscued and, and, and accidentally landed uh, That's just put Ace in trouble. That's just a really disappointing shot. Probably really Can disappointed from uh, the JD's loss. <laughs> <laughs> Can he nick off this yellow and get back in between them? Or he might. Uh, he looks like he's on in the middle with a bit of side. Yeah. Manufacture an angle. Bit of right hand side, kick, kick in. Oh no. 
Has he got the snooker? Yes, he has. Well, it's almost good enough. That's a good shot. Yeah, Mark can come off the, the side rail here if you he wanted to. It land pretty much where his hand is now and uh, have a chance at the out. If he lands pretty much where he had his hand there before, he can play the uh, middle bottom red. Oh, sorry, the, the but bottom. If, but if but if he gets a kick and doesn't land kick, where his hand was, he'll be annoyed and let us know about it. And if he doesn't land where his hand was, it's because he got a kick. That's right. Or his white hands are just blinding him. <laughs> oh, he's actually played that really like better than that's better than where his hand was can. so he must have got a kick yeah <laughs> yeah he could use a bit of time outdoors couldn't he he I did, does I did he, go, he goes outside he goes at, he goes out at night goes for a walk and still gets burnt i i mentioned it when he played you in the <laughs> jds because he was sitting there and the light was hitting him and he he, he looked like twilight <laughs> So one good shot should win him the frame again, yeah, this other than another choke. The only way this can go wrong is if he catches the second red and then slides off and leaves himself no shot. Yeah. But that's worked out pretty freaking well. Yeah. So we're going to have to see another choke. Or a kick. Or a kick. Jeez, to, uh, that'd be funny though, wouldn't it? A choke? No, if he got a kick now, <laughs> yeah. he'd lose his mind. Oh, get the white ball cleaned. No. Running through, just drop it in, play it in the middle, or run through and play it in the other middle? Um, I'd probably stun up Punch it. towards the uh, yellow in the centre of the table. Punch it up to the black spot. Yeah. Come to the left of the yellow, just like that, just in case so you don't snook yourself. Well, this is one of those balls you can get a kick on, Michael. Yeah, and he might even come off the bottom rail, hit the yellow and go in off. Yeah. We only hope. <gasps> Unlucky. Oh. No, anyway, well done, Mark. He's, he's played well. They both struggled early and then he just uh, ran away with it. Ace, giving yeah. him, Ace just giving him too many opportunities. Thank you very much uh, to Ace for coming over and coming to play this match while he's here. He, he does have the family with him, so it was really good of him to do that. Yeah, I think that was more of an obligation, the family thing. I think this was the main reason why I was so <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, I, Yeah, I've got no comment on that one. Uh, no, thanks, 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 players. thanks, Dan Lynch. Uh, our guest commentators, Scotty B and Trent, Mr. Sausage Fingers, Reinheimer. <laughs> and Dan Lynch, you're a legend as normal. And we will see you, uh, that's right, the 28th. 28th. Lunchtime, 28th. Tune into Q Ball TV. See some shenanigans, or if there's plural of shenanigans, it is shenanig guy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the 28th of December, about lunchtime, 12 o'clock, people, for the Big Ashes Test. Support Australia, or come down to Potters and support the Aussie team. Yep, free drinks. That's right. On, on Tony Michael's, Wakefield. Michael shouting. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. All good. Cheers, mate. See you guys.